Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well tonight we have Julie Rogerson in the kitchen. She's actually been here all day teaching how to make a graffiti, uh, graffiti dress. Graffiti defying. Graffiti tree. <laughs> I can't say it. Whatever it is, I'll let her tell you in a minute. In but this is the one she brought for the model, and this is the one that she's made today, which she's going to kindly donate to Seashell Trust. They're coming to collect it in the morning. And I'm going to let Julie tell you a little bit more about it because it's absolutely stunning. I'm also going to let her tell you about her new class, and then she's got a fabulous, a fabulous project for tonight's live. So we've got Simon in the kitchen. Hi, Si. Hi everyone. Hi Carol. Good. Hi I'm Julie. Hi. <laughs> and I'm on comments today. So I'm going to let Julie talk through everything. We've got a couple of prizes to give away because I completely forgot to do the S&C Sparkles prize. And do you know what it was? I couldn't find where it was. And when I went into, when I went into work on Friday, Karen said to me, is this what you're looking for? And uh, it was the print off of all the people who, um, who have bought S&C Sparkles. So they're in with the chance for winning a £25 voucher. So I'm going to go and sit over there chop them all up put them into a bowl and get julie pick one later and then we have got laura's live so we're doing things a little bit differently now so of course i still want you to like and share absolutely that's what it's all about but what like it's like what i'm going to do now is is each time each time i'm going to put a post onto the main page the sugar and crumbs page which is where you are now asking what you thought of the live so today i've already put on about laura's live the comments um, i'm a bit late with it but i didn't have a photographs uh, photograph so anyway i've put it on now and then tomorrow i'm going to put julie's live on see what you think about that and then we're a draw on thursday and that's the way we're doing it and the reason we're doing that i find that a fairer way i only want one comment per person it'll be a fairer way to pick um, and a fairer way to pick because um everybody has privacy settings on their um like and share on their on their accounts and some show up and some don't show up did you have you seen that before when you yeah. look at people yeah. well when you look so it might look like we've got 256 shares but i can only see 50 people mm. so and it sort of bothered me that really because there's people who sharing and sharing they're not actually winning something so if i do this post on our business page um then at least that way you will get a chance but please only post once and if there's two posts then i'll just disqualify it because i see it as unfair because I just want everybody to have the opportunity of winning. All right then. So um, right, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to let Julie tell you about the class. All right. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Thanks, Carol. Um, hi, everyone. So, oh gosh, I'm a bit shorter than Carol was there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been in the kitchen all day um, teaching this dress on a mannequin. It's a gravity defying style cake, which means that it, the cake doesn't actually. Fit. It doesn't sit on the cake board. You put my hands under. It's like a magic trick. Um, so yeah, the, some of the ladies were joining in today as well. Their cakes have been absolutely amazing. Great, they? yeah. They've been sharing them in the group. So hopefully they'll come in and share them in the um, in the main group as well, which would be fabulous. But they've been sharing them in our little private group just for the class members. So as I say, it's gravity defying, which means that the cake doesn't sit on the board. Um, and again, they were in the group. They were coming up with some really imaginative ways that they could use that same structure to go on and create different cakes. So even though we made this cake today, they've had some really fabulous ideas of things that they're going to go on and make afterwards. Um, and as well, I've used this same structure to make many different styles of cakes. So what we did, we carved our dress, um, we used some modelling paste and modelling chocolate, we covered, uh, made this lovely fabric pleat effect for the skirt area. We made, if I just spin that around, I made a nice floppy bow to go on the back, which I got a little bit carried away in my class today. This is the class one. It's a kind of, if I turn this one around as well, look, it kind of grew a bit. Yeah. But yeah, so this one was styled on the, like, do you know, like the big, it looks yeah, great. You know, like the big Jojo floppy birds. We were talking about them and before I knew it, I'd created this huge bird. Um, we've also included the hand painted flower details, which, um, as I've said to the, the ladies in the group, I'm not a cake painter. I don't paint on cakes. But using this technique, um, you know, simple, a simple technique to paint with, um, even the non-painters can actually create results with painted Fantastic. cakes. So, as I say, as Carol said, that's going to the Seashell Trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Seashell I Trust. Yeah, I struggled, I struggled to, to say that this afternoon. I think I was tired after the class. <laughs> I, I was getting all my shh, shh, shh and I just, Yeah, completely went to part. So, that's what I've been busy making today. So, let me pop that one out of the way. 
Well, you've got a fabulous audience, 360 people tuning oh, in to you tonight, Julie. Lovely. I think some of the ones from the class are coming tonight as well. I thought no. they'd have had enough of me no. by then. I absolutely love this. So this is the new class. Let me just yeah. move those. What do you all think of this, everyone? This Isn't it slide. fabulous? Move this one. make some space there okay so this is the new class which I brought up with me today um, so obviously as you can see it's a Noah's Ark design um, again just some very very simple carving so if it's not a technique that you've done before it's absolutely simple for beginners because you can see if I turn it to a side look you can see there it's got the the kind of the boat shape yeah. carved away there so it's not so obvious from the front but from the side you can see that there is a little bit of carving going on. I absolutely love it. Um, we've got the, the wooden plank effect, and obviously all of the little animals. Um, a lot of times you see with the Noah's Ark cakes, you see them with a lot of jungle animals in. I think a lot of people kind of associate the, the Noah's Ark and they think, oh yeah, lions and tigers mm. and that kind of thing. But I wanted to bring some of the other animals in as well, because obviously then you'll be able to go on and use them for other cakes. Yeah. Um, another design so we've got the pigs we've got the pandas because I love pandas we've got the hippos the elephants and the giraffes and obviously the whales at the front on the board there. Well, Sue Mary said she's still here she's still watching it. Fabulous. And everybody says they absolutely love this, this one. cake isn't it fabulous Brilliant. and I love the fact that you've got the two whales on at the bottom. Yeah well, you've got to have a little bit of something on the board yeah. haven't you. I was looking at it and I thought it was looking really bad I thought should I put some fish but I thought no actually whales they're a little I don't know a little bit friendlier I don't think it's maybe just me. I don't know, but yeah, friendly whales. And I'll just let you know that this class is live on the website. Because I've been working from home today, I've actually managed to get Terry to take a photograph and we've got it live on the website if you want to book on. It's on for the 7th of June, okay? Mm -hmm. yep. Which is another Monday. Um, of course, you do know you don't have to do it live. You can watch and then do it at your leisure. You can buy the class and just tune in and watch at your leisure whenever you want. Yep, definitely. And as I say, it's... It's not a huge cake, so it's perfectly fine for making for, you know, like small parties and small gatherings, because obviously with COVID, we've had to kind of scale things down a bit. But even going forward, a lot of times with children's parties, they are restricted because, you know, they maybe only want to invite 15 people with the children and what have you. And you don't always necessarily want a huge cake. Um, so we've gone for a smaller sized cake for this one. It's going to be perfect for, I mean, obviously... It's going to be a lot of lockdown babies, let's face it. It's going, to be a lot, it's going to be a baby boom, surely. There was a baby boom after the war, wasn't there? So there's, yeah. there's going to be one. So we're looking at baby shower cakes. We're looking at christening cakes. First birthdays, second birthdays, third birthdays. You know, for like young children. Um, you could... It fits boy and girl, Yeah, it fits boy and girl. Obviously, you can tweak the animals and change them around and create different animals using the same techniques um, that I show you to make these specific animals. But you can carry that forward. Um, again, if you were doing it for like a baby shower, you don't have to go for the bright colours. You could theme it down and use pastel shades. Um, it could be used as a top tier for a cake if you're wanting, you know, when finally we're all allowed to get out and party. If you're wanting something bigger, you could use this as your top tier and then do a bottom tier that was larger um, to go with it. So endless possibilities with this one. And I am super excited. You might be able to tell. I can't wait to come and do this one. Um, I'm a little bit tired and throaty, but I am. I am excited, honest. Well, lots of ladies said they watched the class today with you and they thoroughly enjoyed Fabulous. it. Fabulous. Lots of people are very excited about this class. It's thirty pound for the class. It's on the website. I've not built the group yet, but I will build the group tomorrow. Um, what size cake is that? It's an eight inch. An eight inch cake, Michelle yep. Quinn. Eight inch cake on a twelve inch board. So as I say, it's. It's and scaled down from my baby bag cake, which was like massive. Yeah, yeah. The baby cake. It was. Yeah, it was huge. Knew that. It was. <laughs> you can see me over this cake, so you can tell straight away that it's not massive. Okay. Um, but again, in the same way, when we do start to get let out and we are partying more, you can obviously scale it up and, and carve it from a 10-inch cake. Well, I do think this is a perfect cake for any child, right? Yeah. It's suitable yeah. for everything, isn't Absolutely. It? All yeah. the occasions. So there we go. Let's pop that one. To one side. Yeah. So this is on the website. It's in the What's uh, New. Pop it okay. Over here. Uh, just to remind you, Joe Griffin's class is on the website as well. And um, also, don't forget Hannah the Cake Illusionist class, eighth of May. So that's a bowl of spaghetti bolognese. So you really need to. Oh, Debbie Hargreaves, she's booked. So she's quick off the mark. She's oh, straight wow. in there, yeah. 
So late, late one for the today's class and first in for today. Yeah, for the absolutely. Class, well, 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 you can't say fairer than that, can yeah. you? So don't forget the bowl of spaghetti bolognese that um, Hannah, the cake illusionist, is going to be doing. And also her flamingo cake as well for later on in the year. So lots of lovely classes, everyone. But, you know, I do think this one is an absolute beauty. In fact, every one that Julia's done has been amazing. I I've loved them all. I've had great fun coming to do them, so... Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to it. So tonight, we're going to do this sewing-themed inspired cake. I kind of like to try and tie it in with the cake that I was doing um, in the class. And like I was saying to the ladies in the group today, obviously little bits and pieces off this, if they wanted, they could transfer onto um, the other cake, onto the board, to use as little accessories and things as well. So, yeah, like the buttons but, and the reels. Yeah, the buttons and the, the cotton reels yeah. and things. Um, so, for instance, if you were doing it as a mannequin for a seamstress, um, or we talked about like a Cinderella, do you know, when they're, they're making the Cinderella dress, that kind of thing, these accessories would team perfectly with the dress that we'd made today. But likewise, they make a really good cake in their own right. So this is what we're going to do this evening. So we're going to cover um, a six inch round, I believe that is, but it's quite a tall six inch round. So hopefully I can see over the top. <laughs> this one's a smaller one. Uh, I'm not gonna use this huge turntable to cover it with. I brought my own shorter one. Um, <laughs> so give Simon a, fan, a fighting chance of being able to yeah. find me on the camera. Um, so yeah, we're gonna cover the cake. Um, I'm actually using the leftover sugar paste. Everyone, I don't like waste. We're using the, the leftover sugar paste from today's class. Um, I made a little bit extra so we're going to use that so we're actually going to do a yellow cake and not a pink cake um, and we're going to make these little accessories so we're going to be using moulds we're going to be using some hand modelling techniques um, so yeah let's get cracking and let's get going so I'll just pop that to one side well they're um, all very excited it's very nice of you to show them how to make this cake that's okay and I'm super excited even more so than my class cake I'm going to get a chance to use this fabulous new rolling pin. Well, the ladies were very concerned you weren't using that today, weren't they? I know, they I know. All my fault. It was All Simon's fault. I didn't like to say anything. I was, <laughs> I was being discreet. I was, I was using it. <laughs> so I've got here, this is Saturn... What's it called? Satanara. Satanara sugar paste, um, which is what I was using in the class today. Have you found it? I found it quite nice. It's soft, yeah. but it's it seems quite strong. Um, yeah. So we'll see how we go tonight covering the tall cake with it. Um, but yeah, today in in the dress cake class, it was ideal. It was perfect because it's quite soft and it's quite um, malleable. It was really good to get that flowing kind of pleated fabric effect going which was really good. So, sorry about the cutting ladies, but I'm just chopping these names up so that Julie can pick a winner later. Okay, I'll just talk louder, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just needing that. I'm going to cover the cake drum first. We've got a 10 inch round cake drum there. That's lovely, Lindsay Pearson says she loves watching you. You're very calming. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's nice to know. I try. And enjoyable to watch. Oh, fabulous, thank you. Yes, and we finally got a picture on the website of the new rolling pin. And it's lovely, it's huge. Well, we've had it with, we're going to have that one, a nine inch one. Mm. I might get a smaller one yet, but I just want to get the big ones in. For, yeah. Mainly for the people who've got the big boards, as you are now the proud owner of one of the big boards, aren't you? Well, I um, actually might be the proud owner of more than one big board. You said yes. you were thinking of buying another one. Yeah, yeah. I got the, the grey one yeah. uh, when the grey one came out because it was like new and really exciting. Yeah. Yeah, you wrote a post, didn't you? And said, yeah. I get a pink one, is it to go with the curtains? <laughs> yeah, my blinds in my studio are pink. Um, so yeah, I'm getting that to go with, with my blinds. No, what I thought was the grey one is a quite a nice neutral colour um, for doing tutorials for like magazines and um, downloads and that kind of thing. So that's good for photographing on, but then the pink one will match the studio. So that, nice. that was my logic behind it. So, and we were working out today as well because this rolling pin is 24 inches apparently yes. am I right so we were working out that I would be two and a bit rolling pins high <laughs> only, only because somebody in the group very kindly said that the rolling pin was about the same height as me and I said well actually no let's work oh, this out on, I know yeah. I know I know I'm small I mean to be fair I think if I stood more that up on it twice it's, the size of a rolling I'm pin. more than twice the size of a rolling pin would you believe that I know you wouldn't think it to look at me I mean if you hold it up here look it just <laughs> I'm the same yeah, size yeah, and <laughs> now, now I'm the same size as a rolling pin <laughs> oh gosh 
Okay, so we're just going to, I've just um, dampened that off just with a damp cloth, clean damp cloth. I'm just going to smooth that over. But again, you can just use a cake smoother just to polish that if you need to. And then I'm just going to pick it up. And go like this. But yes, yeah, so I've got my nice new pink workboard in the car. So did you buy the grey one first, did you? I got the grey one first. Um. And then I've got the pink one now. And I already had a green one. So I've got all three. All right, well there's it. Lots of people are saying they're going to be definitely booking your Noah's Cake class. So oh, lovely. Let's see if you are, ladies. I think you're all going to love that one. Yeah. And right, it's really nice to have you. something. I think it's really nice to have something just very nice for a child, isn't it? Yeah. It's bright, it's colourful, it looks fabulous. Yeah. And like I say, you can pastel it and kind of, you know, kind of mute down the colours if you wanted to. If it was for like a tiny baby, like a one year old, or for, like I say, the baby shower or a christening. Or you, then you can go nice and bright um, as the child gets a little bit older as well. So you can get lots of different looks from the same cake. Can I just answer this question? Mm. Jamie, give Karen Naylor a ring in the office tomorrow and she'll send you a link for every class that you're in. I can't do it on the phone because I'm trying to cut up these things, read comments and watch what Julie's doing. But just give Karen a ring. She's more than helpful. She'll be in after nine o'clock tomorrow because um, she's. I think she's on the lates maybe tomorrow. But give her a call and she will help you out. Don't worry, love. Okay, so what I'm doing, um, this is a ganache cake that I got from the kitchen. And I'm just, when I tend to cover my ganache cakes, um, I use Trex to stick the ganache on. And can I just tell you that was done with the Bridges uh, yes. cake room? Yes, yeah, this was done with the, the kit. The kit, that's the word I was looking for. I'm struggling with my words. But yes, so, I. <laughs> so I'm just rubbing a really thin layer of Trex. Now you can't taste the Trex. Um, and the reason I like to use it is it just, it gives you a little bit more manoeuvrability um, when you're putting your sugar paste on, especially, um, like I was saying to the ladies in the group today, I used milk chocolate ganache. And I tend to find if I stick the ganache on with water, um, it, it kind of sticks straight away to the cake. And then if you try and pull it off, it's pulling, it doesn't pull the ganache off, but it, the, the chocolate colours the inside of the sugar paste. And sometimes you end up getting the chocolate colour on the outside of your cake. And I just find sometimes it gets really, really messy. It's maybe just me, I don't know. I'm a messy worker. Well, you've got a fabulous audience, Julie, 377 at the moment. Brilliant. And Wayne Chambers from Sydney, it's 5.20 in the morning and he's up to watch it. Wow, good morning, so. Wayne. That is, that is, whew, that's early. I woke up at 5.20 this morning. Well, it was about, it was five something this morning because there was birds tweeting outside the window. <laughs> <laughs> Which is lovely because it means that it's getting to be spring and it's nice and all of that. But yeah, I wish they'd had a bit of a lie in. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I woke up early because I noticed the traffic back on the road again. Right. So not so much the birds, but yeah, more that, the traffic. that it was back to the normal traffic sounds outside. Yeah. So uh, Jackie's used her new board. She's bought the green one and she loves it. She's used mm -hmm. it today for the first time, I think. And then um, Kit Curran, yes, we are going to get a medium rolling pin. So I'm going to do three sizes, the 9 inch, 24 inch, and I think it would probably be the 16 inch, I think, or the 20 inch. Not sure what they make them in. Do you do 16 or 20? Um, I think the next one's 20. Yeah, I think it? it's 20. Or 18, something like that. 18, yeah. 20. I don't know. 18 would be. Would be right, would it? Nice, do you think? I just wait for him to send me what he's sending. It would make me feel taller. <laughs> <laughs> if that helps. <laughs> if that helps with your decision making. Okay, so I'm just keeping the paste moving around on the board. Um, and as you can see, with the non-stick board and the non-stick rolling pin here, it makes it just so much easier to roll out. And this is quite heavy as well. Mm. I don't know whether it is it because it's longer or is it the material, but it's it's quite heavy, so it's actually making it the easier. Very dense, isn't it? Mm. Right. But yeah, no, it's good because it's a good weight. So it's can like I ask a you a question? Is there any chance you could show me how you rolled a circle? Because in all the time in my life, whenever I roll sugar paste, I always get a triangle. It starts yeah. off as a circle. 
Do you want me to start again? Would anybody mind? Because no. I was too busy wrapping these no, up. That's fine. But I, 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 I flatten it out. Yeah. Pay turn it round. I'm, I'm doing draw tickets. <laughs> well, stop so, doing draw tickets. Po- I'm, I haven't got as good as Karen reading these comments yet. Okay, so. But I'm Found in a bowl like this, so do you know, like as if he was making a bread bun? Yeah. Yeah? And then I just flatten it down a little bit. You watch, it's going to go into a triangle. <laughs> well, I'm thinking you're only little as well, and yes. you've got a full circle. I did. I'm a bigger, I'm over it bigger, so. so. I'm just amazing. I sand on my tiptoes. <laughs> That's the other thing. And just small rolls, keep it moving, and then just patting it around with your hands as well. So if you're keeping that circular shape while it's small, I don't think I'm doing it then, that. It then helps. I think I'm trying to roll it all out in one go. Yeah, no, small. Think of me, small. Small steps. See, the pressure's on now. I've got to keep it in the yeah. circle, haven't I? See, I don't. I just keep rolling it. You just keep rolling. Yeah. yeah. No. But I, I just can never stop having a triangle. Okay, so I've got myself a nice big air bubble Sorry, then. That's, that's okay, that doesn't matter. So she's got herself a nice air bubble. Got a lovely I've air her, bubble. I've asked her to fold it, <laughs> I've asked her to roll it again. That's and okay. And she's got air in it. That's <laughs> okay. Okay, so you can use um, you know, like the scriber pointy tool. I tend to use acupuncture needles, just because that's what I do. But you could use a sterilised um, needle as well. That's nice. You need something that's thin and pointy and sharp and sterile. Jenny Morwood says she loves to watch you work, but she also loves to hear your accent. Um, she is a West Yorkshire girl herself, but um, you, you remind her of some friends who come from your area. Oh, fabulous. Whereabouts do they come from? A hull. Oh, from Hull? Yeah. 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 Just down the road from me. About a 20 minute drive. Oh, I've got terrible air bubbles. Sorry. Oh, that's your fault, Carol. Sorry, this is my fault. That's okay. <laughs> Um, not sure if you're aware, ladies, but when you come to re-roll it, unless you've had time to knead it, which uh, Julie and Quickness didn't get a chance to do that, you end up yeah. tucking in some air. But don't worry, it's fine. We can soon get rid of that. And like I say, the purpose of tonight's um, demo is more about the decorations than it is about the super duper covering of the cake. Okay, so we're going to do this a bit quickly so that it gives me longer to show you how to actually decorate because I'm sure the majority of you are absolutely fabulous at covering your cakes by now. <laughs> that's, the, that's the assumption I'm working on. Yeah, so you don't need to roll out yeah, <laughs> So you don't need to uh, <laughs> don't need to see it twice. You don't need me to tell you how to cover a cake. <laughs> um, I think um, Emma, Harlem Horses, the rolling pins haven't sold out. There is a few left. I think they haven't sold out because we didn't have a picture, but Simon's just brought the picture in tonight and I've uploaded it. It's like a flight. Delivered it by Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I delivered it by email. <laughs> so hello to YouTubers. That's it. Oh, hello YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hello Jill, Patricia, Karen, Elizabeth, Nathan. Oh, you got a few on there. Uh, is, that because they've all said, uh, yeah. is that because they've all said hello tonight? Yeah, Has anybody worked hello. out how to say comments on YouTube lives? All, the, all these people have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't worked that out yet. See, so looking at you, you've got a lovely, nice round circle. So. This is where I start going off in three different ways. Yeah, it's just a case of keep turning it and just, yeah, keep it as, as even as you can, really. So some of you may be asking, what is the, uh, the book, the class? A few people have booked the class. Oh, brilliant. Some of you may well be asking, um, what, is the, what is the benefit of the rolling pin? Well, it's non-stick. Stick, and with using it on the non-stick board, look, there is not a drop of icing sugar or corn flour on the place, which means you do not have dried out or, um, as they call it, elephant, elephant skin mm -hmm. sugar paste. And also as well, from my point of view, because I am a cake maker, I've got my own cake business. That is my job. That's what I do. I do cakes, um, luckily. Um, things like if you're doing a dark coloured cake, so if you're doing a black cake, I mean, there are ways of removing corn flour and icing sugar from a cake once you've covered it, but it's, it's a lot better if you don't actually have it on there in the first place. Yeah. And you'll always find little bits. Um, you know, I mean, and some of the ways leave your cake quite wet afterwards so then you can't work on it for a while because you've got to wait for the cake to dry so yeah well let's put it this way this is 
I've got three of these now. <laughs> Jenny Cook says, stop talking about boards because I really want one. <laughs> Oh, website, just get one. <laughs> yeah, you can pay You can pay on terms, you know, phone Laura. Okay, so I'm going to use this super long. And like I said, this is actually the first time I've used this rolling pin today. So I'm just going to hold it up to the back there, flip it over the top. Um, and I like the weight of it. I didn't realise it was going to be really heavy like that, which is super good. So really quickly, I'm just going to grab that top edge so that it doesn't tear. So they want to know, is that paste texture nice and is it stretching up okay? Yeah. You can give it another spin, it doesn't matter yeah. to me. I mean, I'm finding at the moment, I think it's because it's a really tall cake, it is kind of stretching and tearing a bit there. I did actually roll it out a tiny bit thicker than I normally would, just to give me that little bit of extra stability. Um, but as I say, all I'm doing is rubbing around the edge there, look, and that should bring it back again. So we need to start getting that on. And like I say, to be honest, it's it's a six inch round cake, but I think it must be about seven inches tall, is it? Yes. So if you're using Sorry, a, cake, it is a tall cake, it is a yeah. really tall cake. I didn't yeah. expect it to be no. hugely tall. You see it's tearing my look as well. Yeah. Okay, so. Well, I'm sure you can smooth it in. We can. So we're just That'd going to. Good to show them how to do that. Oh, well, that's it. Because we all do it. Yeah. In fact, so we're, nearly all of us do it. <laughs> so we're just going to get this paste stuck on as quick as we can because as I say the weight of it because of the height is dragging that down and it is tearing it a little bit. As I say it is quite a soft paste. I maybe wouldn't use this one for taller cakes. It I was probably really, use it for your um, it was really good for the dress. Yeah. It's a soft paste. So it's probably more suited for carved cakes or cakes where you may be doing a panelling. So probably if we'd have panelled this rather than um, covering it all in one piece. But sometimes you see people say they don't know what to do when it gets to, when you're panelling, because you have the join around the top edge. But actually I think this would work really well with that method because it's blending together really well. Okay, so if you're doing a really tall cake like this and you're using this, what is it, Satinara? Satinara yeah, paste. Satinara, yeah. I would use the panelling method. Yeah. So this is a new paste, um, I've sent it out to quite a lot of you, a lot of you have had it for free. I would probably suspect, even though Molly Robbins is um, an ambassador for um, Renshaw, I think it's a soft paste that she likes, that would be perfect for her babies and her, and her standing and layer moulds, because she always recommends having a very soft paste. Yeah. So I think it is a bit too soft for covering. Okay, it's like this. I was trying not to be wasteful because I'd coloured the paste up. Okay, coloured the paste up You've for the class. Right so and I was trying not to waste it. Don't worry, you're doing okay. alright so far. And the brilliant thing about this cake is because we've got the button um, no, moulds around know. the bottom, we can hide it all. <laughs> so it's fab. Okay. So um, on that note, Molly Robbins is in on Wednesday. We're doing a Wednesday night live this week. Don't forget and a Thursday night live. There we go. So let's get rid of that weight as well, which will help. And then we'll use our smoothers and we'll get that cake sorted out. You'll do it, Jules. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just like the Churchill dog. It's good for them to see you sorting something out like this as yeah. well. Yeah. I'm glad you've got confidence and faith in me that I'm going to yes, sort Yes, absolutely. Out. So I'm just going to use an ordinary cake smoother first and then we're going to go on and use the acetate smoothers. And the acetate smoothers are what are the, it's going to sort this out a treat. Okay. So as I say, if that happens to you, as you could see, I didn't panic, I didn't cry and worry and rip it all off. We, we work it. We're fine, we'll work it. Well, Carrie it. Bridges says you make it look so easy. Thank you. And most people aren't going to actually cover a cake this tall. I mean, it's, Let's have a look. What are we talking here? And Trisha, Trisha Linda Neal says that she's on YouTube and here, but she doesn't know how to comment on YouTube. <laughs> so I've been ferreting in Carol's drawers. Yes. And I've got some of the... Uh, the Brina smoothers that now belong to sugar and crumbs. But we are out of stock because I've got to train somebody on how to make them. Ah, <laughs> uh, right, okay. <laughs> We just haven't had time. 
I've got a lad in mind who's going to make them for us, but one that I've only just ordered the stock off one, off one company. I've got to order off three different companies for the stock, and then I've got to train one of the lads to do it. Okay, so we're just moving around. we do it at the front there, Alex, so you can see. I'll slow down, sorry. That's <laughs> not slowing Sue, camera. Sue Mary's just bought your class. Oh, fabulous. Ooh, sounds like it's going well. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so we're just using that in a nice, smooth... Sorry, I'll slow down. Nice, smooth motion like this. You can go in a circular motion as well. And that just helps to smooth the paste. Okay, don't press too hard. Just nice and gently. Because if you press too hard, you're going to be moving the paste around too much. And you're 420 people watching tonight. So wow. thank you everybody for watching. Um, the other thing I like about the acetate smoothers as well that I use them for is actually trimming the cake around the bottom. Oh yeah, they're brilliant for that, aren't they? Um, before anybody asks, we are out of stock of the Brina's cake smoothers, um, but that's because I'm only just going to be buying stock this week, and I've just got to train one of the lads on how to make them. So hopefully we'll have them in stock by the end of next week. Oh, there we go. So just hang on. Stick them on your next order instead. Yeah. Gives you another week to save up for a pink board or a grey board <laughs> and the rolling pin. Oh, Ginny Cup, it's because she's in Portugal, that's why we can't get aboard to her. Um, we can't ship out into Europe, we can ship to America and Australia, but we can't, we can't get to, um, we can't get to Portugal. There we go, so then we can just remove that excess and then we can get smoothing away. Do you know how much sugar paste you actually have there? Right, so... Because then with what you've got left, we can work out what you've actually used, can't we? So when I started this morning, I had two and a half kilos of sugar paste and I have covered the dress and I've covered the cake board and I've covered the cake. And you've got that. And I've got that left, which is probably, I reckon, about a kilo left. Oh, yeah, I'd say so as well. Yeah. So I reckon on this, it's probably about 500, 600 yeah. grams, something yeah. like that, I would imagine. Okay, so I'm just going to put one of the smoothers on the top here and use the other smoother at the side. Okay, so I'm overhanging that one slightly and then I'm just gently, if you can hear it rubbing. Okay, that's rubbing against and that's just helping to smooth out where, it, where we had the tears at the top there. Okay. So hopefully you'll be able to see that we've got a ridge at the moment. And then by doing that, I've got my finger right at the top here, look, so it's pressing the smoother, and that's kind of getting rid of that ridge, look. So hopefully in the next couple of minutes, nobody will ever know that we had a major disaster. And then I'll be saying, oh wow, look how fabulous this paste is for covering really tall cakes. <laughs> okay. So I'm just applying just a little bit of pressure, just with that top finger there just as we're going around the cake and that's really helping. So again, if you decided to use the panelling method to do this, which is covering the top in one piece and then rolling the strip and rolling it around the cake, again, this would be a really good technique for then blending that top seam because obviously you're going to get a top seam where the top of the cake and the sides of the cake where the paste meets. So this is really good for doing that. And if there's a rubbish bit, we'll just put that at the back and nobody will know. We'll stick a couple of buttons. It. Yeah, we'll have buttons at the top as well. But yeah, I tend to, if I'm covering a tall cake, I would probably go for something like the Renshaw Extra or the, the is it the sugar paste it's called, isn't it? The sugar paste. Jackie Adams said she would have ripped all that off and started again. Oh, See, no, 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 no. See, you don't need to. No, no, no. Now, this isn't onto a dummy. This is onto a cake. Yeah. So, this is, this a, ganache is a ganache cake. cake that was done with the Bridges Cake Room um, ganache room kit. Yeah, so it's got a lovely, lovely sharp edge. Yeah. Which helped to rip that icing as well, which was super. It was a razor sharp edge. Julie brought a cake, but she always knows we've got stuff in the freezer we need to get rid of. So she said, have you got a spare cake? And I said, yes, yeah. you can have this one. Yeah. So it saved me having to bake one specially to bring. OK. 
Okay, so just keep working that around. And you can see, compared to what it was like before, that is... It's looking good. That is quite an improvement. Yeah, it's looking good. Up. A couple of air bubbles there. In fact, actually, I don't think it is an air bubble. I think it's just a bit of a smudge. Done well there, too, isn't it? There we go. And then that bit there at the bottom, look where it was all torn. Again, you just put in a little bit of pressure on this mover. And that should work itself in. Like I say, tonight is not about the cake covering, which I did say this before I started. It's about the decoration. Okay. But yeah, like I say, I think if I was covering a really tall cake, if I was using the satin... Satinara. 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 I know, I get confused because there's another brand called Satinina. Yes, Satinina. I know, and I'm trying to say the right word. Yeah, I know, I get muddled up between the both of them. This is Satinara. Not to be with Satinalia. Oh, wow, what's Satinalia? As if we'd know no. that. <laughs> you always have to come out with something random, yeah. doesn't it? We're cake yeah. decorators. We're not There's only Romans. you clever blogs who would know that. Anyhow. Yeah. So yes, we're using Satinara. So as I say, if I was using Satinara again to cover a cake, if I was covering a smaller cake, so one like the one I brought with me, um, which that is a dummy cake that I just quickly whipped that up on. We have given, um, we have given Julia a big oh, cake yeah. here. <laughs> I would have used, it would have been absolutely fine to cover in one piece. Um, it was a good way of experimenting and putting it to the test. The easy thing would have been to just think, oh, no, I'm going to panel it. But I thought, no, let's give it a go. Well, Madeline Albert says, would it have been quicker to start again? No. No. Fine. Well, look how she smoothed it all out. It's a good learning curve. It's, it's brilliant. You've done a great job yeah. there, Julie. There we go. So yeah, you could have taken it off, but then the paste is already quite soft, so and to then it roll it back it out, yeah, you're like going to end up running into even more problems. Yeah. And like I say, if there's any little bits there where we think, oh, actually, that is really bad, then we can just stick a button on it, yeah? So Amanda, yes, we do sell the, the smoothers. They are called Barina's Smoothers. But we've actually bought the brand and we've actually run out and i've only just realized we've run out last week so i am frantically just getting stock this week and then i've got to train one of the lads how to cut them up and make them and hopefully we'll have them back on sale next week there we go so i'm going to call that it as i said there are still one or two floors around the top um but you could keep going and keep going and just get rid of those just using the exact same techniques um, but then I wouldn't have time to show you how to decorate the cake. So we're going to put that to one side. And I think for the space it was in all written down the edges, it, it's come back okay. So Jilly, I see it, Jilly gets confused with what you can and cannot cover with. I thought Renshaw did not taste very nice, or have I got that wrong? Sorry, I'm such a novice. Um, Renshaw tastes perfectly fine to me. I've got no issues yeah, with I'm, the taste of it, Renshaw. Yeah, yeah. And we tend to use, Renshaw's a very... Renshaw normal sugar paste is actually very, very soft, but it works well. And I've got to be honest, Georgie Gobble uses it in every class for covering every mm. day. Um, Molly Robbins only uses Renshaw. You'll find lots of people only use mm. that. It really yeah. is a personal choice, seriously. It's, it really is. Everybody is so different. You'll and, sorry, yeah, Carol. Sorry, no, you'll see that I actually never push a sugar paste. And we, we mentioned Select Island a lot because that seems to go down really well with everybody. But personally, it's a personal choice thing. Mm. It's down to budget. It's what you like. Just give it a try. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, Georgie Gobbled is very much for the beginner cake decorators and she mm -hmm. uses Renshaw all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And I've used Renshaw. Um, and like I say, it is, it's personal. Everybody works differently. We've all, we all work at a different speed. Um, so sometimes some of the pastes are more beneficial to somebody to give them a longer working time, um, so if it's a softer paste. And also you'll find some people might have really hot hands, some people will have really cold hands. Yeah. Um, so if you've got warm hands, a nice firm paste will work really well for you because you'll be able to knead it really easily, whereas if you've got really cold hands and the firm ones, you end up having to put them in the microwave to warm them up, so you might be better with a softer one. Um, so like Carol said, just try a few it's and like, see. It's like people who like massa, I like massa, mm. but I struggle to, you can roll that very thin and yeah. cover, but I can't cover with it, because yeah. for me, I'm not quick enough at covering a cake, so I rip it. 
Yeah. So, so it doesn't matter. So to me, I prefer to use a stronger sugar paste like a Select Island because that's stronger yeah. and holds for me. Yeah. But it really does depend to you. Yeah. Anyhow, Simon, we've got a Clever Clogs watching tonight. Janie Scott, yes, Simon. I thought they were saying the Roman Saturnalia as well. Two of you oh. in the room. No, we weren't. <laughs> I'm still not the wiser are you? Not, no. <laughs> I didn't do history. That's cool. And Emma Harlem also says that's amazing how smooth you got it after stretching it. Yeah, absolutely. It's fantastic. It went fine. So what I'm using here for the buttons is the Karen Davis Karen Davis mould, the button mould. And I've just got some um this is a really good cake for using off cuts, off like um bits and bobs that you've got left over, <coughs> leftover bits um, of different colours because you find when you're doing cakes, if you're colouring the paste up for covering cakes, you never get the right amount, you've always got little bits left over um, in little Ziploc bags in your cupboard, so this is the perfect cake for using all your little bits of leftover colours. So all I've done is I've just filled the mill there, you need to make sure that there's no little straggly bits of paste over the edge and then just give it a little flex like that and then out comes your button i love all karen davies button moulds yeah. and jilly you could be thinking of the modeling paste which does taste disgusting possibly, possibly. yeah you should be eating that i don't <laughs> eat the modeling paste but yeah there's so many different types of paste if you're new to it it can be really really confusing so this is what i'm using here this is just um just regular sugar paste which is being colored with the gel colors um, or paste colours, whichever you use. And I've dusted the moulds with a little bit of corn flour. You can also use Trex, um, depending on, again, the conditions that you're working in, if, um, if it's a particularly intricate mould. Now, these are quite easy moulds to use, so it's not too bad. I'm just putting a little bit of extra corn flour in there, just with my paintbrush. So, as I say, these are easy, the big pieces, um, but if you was making something that's got like really small intricate details, quite often then I would use the Trex because sometimes with the cornflower it, it can stick a little bit sometimes, depending on your mould. Okay, so again, little and flex. Jenny Morwood, Carol, is the Saturnara going to come out in small packs? They have only brought it out in the two and a half kilos and five kilo packs at the moment, but apparently they're being bombarded with can they bring it out in the one kilo pack, so I'm hoping so. Okay, so if you get too much paste in your mould, all you need to do is just push it to one side with your finger and then just use the edge of your thumb there just to pull off any excess. And we're just going to make a few random buttons. I was busier earlier before we came on making a selection of buttons so that you don't have to sit here watching me for the entire live. Could you just find the grottiest foam patterns? Sorry. Let's turn that around. <laughs> you can't see it, it's not on camera. Yeah, it was. was it? Sorry. <laughs> there look with this beautiful, beautiful foam pad. <laughs> Looks like it's been yeah, airbrushed. Just, it, yeah. just push it to the side a little bit. Sorry. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Oh, you should see the state of some of mine at home. I know, they do get mucky, don't they? They, they do. get covered in dusting, glitter and airbrushing and everything. Absolutely, yeah. A modelling paste, black paste, that sticks to mm. the firm pads. Yeah. Really bad. Sorry, I just grabbed one out of the cupboard. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like I say, we'll just make a random few. And then once we put them on the cake, um, obviously if we need any extra, we can always pop a few extra on. But it just shows you how quick and easy it is. And such a different selection as well. There's so many different styles of putting in this. Can those foam trays go in the wash washer, Viv Goddard says? I actually uh, don't know, Viv, because you know what? I have thought about sticking them in the washing machine myself. Yeah. Or the dishwasher. Yeah, dish yeah, I tend to just wash them by hand. Just do the wa um, do you know, when I'm doing uh, the dishes, um, I just stick them in with the fairy. Well, the dishwasher just soak up all the water, though. Whereas with the washing machine, it spins it out. Yeah, I suppose. It. Whereas the wash with dishwasher, it's yeah. not going anywhere. It's just sat there, isn't it? Yeah, but then you can wring it out. That's what I do. And I wash it by I hand, and I just wring it. Just some washing up yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. washing it by hand would probably be best. Yeah. 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 You just... Um, and it doesn't take much. It's, it's dead it easy. So Penny White says, mm. Can you tell Simon I sorted my airbrush? I just needed to unscrew the bit on the airbrush. 
itself and it jo and joined it to the compressor I had to get my son to unscrew it as it was very tight and if you can understand what I mean thank him again for his help yeah that's it perfect and a couple of you are asking how Lincoln is um, Lincoln is not a well man unfortunately he is going downhill he's looking very thin and very tired um, he had a journey with me yesterday was it Sunday yesterday yeah yes yeah, Saturday and he was very poorly in the car three times that we've had to get the uh, we've had to get a specialist guy out to clean the car it was that bad so he's looking a bit sad he's not, he's, he's quite well at home but I don't think he can come in the journeys on us and he, we now know he can't jump in the back of the car anymore Aww. so I think on uh, Sunday on Saturday was the last time he's ever going to jump in the car Aww. but hopefully we'll get a few more months out of him yet yeah how old is he Carol he will be 13 in July yeah so hopefully we'll get him to his 13th birthday which yeah. to be fair for a Rhodesian Ridgeback is two years over his expected life expectancy so, right yeah yeah because I've got a Springer Spaniel she's just crazy yeah. actually no she's quite to be fair to be fair to her she is quite chilled for a Springer Spaniel um, yeah, because they're until very active, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just um, chills on the settee. I'm glad you like the little videos of her do. He does like staying in bed now to half past eleven in the morning. He's <laughs> become uh, quite partial to that. He's quite happy. He sits in. I know that he's not well because he's just sitting in the office on his bed, just staring. Actually, oh, we'll do the letters as well. Aww. Staring at my desk instead of my room. Oh. So for the letters, um, I've just done happy birthday, but obviously you can do any kind of message. I'm just using these Katie Sue, um, I don't know what they're actually called, pa stitched letters? Patch it's letters? a stitch letter. Stitch letters. letters. Yeah, they've got a range of stitch, haven't they? Yes. Yeah, we're using some of the other range as well. Okay, so again, I've dusted it with a little bit of corn flour. We'll see how it goes. Um, these, again, are really easy to get out of the mould. I'm going to actually pop a few of the letters in to start with. Thank you. Like so. so again, you've just got to make sure that the paste all stays within the confines of the, the mould cavity itself. Don't be having little bits sticking over the edge. So just bring that in with your fingers. Sorry for all the additional noise. Simon's getting the drinks out. Water. Is it that noisy? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, back it. Yeah, thank you for all your thoughts about Lincoln. And I see a few of you have got the same issues as well. So we've got another old dog as well. Basil's going to be 14 in June. And he's way past his uh, expiry date as well. But um, I don't know. You know what? We could get we could get another few months out of them both yet. The pleasure of old age. Yeah. I say it very calmly, but it's completely different when they go, isn't it? Yeah. You're realistic, aren't you, with the whole thing? And then when they go, you just can't speak, can you? No. Right, so... I'm just going to grab another foam pad in a second. So I tend to, with these, they're just like the foam flower, like the little dimpled pads. But I tend to use the flat side of them more than I do the dimpled side, because I don't really do flowers very much. Get a clean one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. okay. We're using this side, so it's fine. It's, got gold dust all over it's it. fine. It makes it more real. I think it? you're all right. I think all of you have got dog lovers or cat lovers or even whatever animal you've got. I think if you're an animal lover, once you love an animal, it's just you just it kills us all doesn't it and I've seen that all of you have uh, all of you have been going through different things over the last few months or years like we all do but uh yes it's very brave talking about it now because it hasn't happened but um and let's hope it doesn't no absolutely not okay so these are quite easy especially because I know quite a few people do um struggle a bit with the cutters as well for letters, um, but these little moulds just make it easier. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Yeah, 
You see, I can't do piping. I can't do yeah. like the royal icing, piped letters and I'd things. I'd love to be able to do that. I, I would. Can. I haven't got the patience <laughs> to learn. But it is the practicing, and I just. I think that's the thing. We can all do it, but yeah. it's whether we've got the it's, patience yeah. or not, isn't it? Yeah. I haven't got the time and the patience to practice, and I think as well, if it's something that you don't do that often, um, you kind of lose the habit as well. You lose the ability a little bit. Well, I did anyway, because I did. I, I did have a, a bit of a class once to learn how to do the royal icing, but yeah, I can't do it. It's the spacing I struggle with as well. Yeah. Well, I can't get each letter the same size. No, no. <laughs> and I end up where it's kind of, it either runs off the end of the board or the cake, um, or it finishes in the middle of it. So. You know what, that would have looked nice if you'd done them in different colours, those letters. Yeah, I know, but it's quicker to do them in the same colour. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, but it is quicker to do yeah, it in one colour. But yeah, it would. It would look yeah. nice. I'm going to use my Dresden tool just to neaten that bit up. Because me lecturing you saying, make sure there's no paste over the edge of the, of the mould. I did a little bit there. But as I say, this is just regular sugar paste. Um, there isn't any Tylo powder in. You could add some Tylo powder in there if you wanted to, if you found that it was a little bit soft. Um, but to be honest, a lot of the sugar paste nowadays, when I first started using these moulds, it was a case of pretty much every sugar paste I had to add Tyler powder in. But the paste seems to have got a lot stronger um, and a lot more robust, so you don't tend to need to so much. So we're nearly there. We should have just done a small message, shouldn't we? Hey. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made a good message, wouldn't it? Hello. <laughs> No, you have to go for it. Yeah. It hasn't actually taken you that long, Julie. Do you feel under pressure? No. I think when you're doing no. something like that, it does make you feel under pressure. Yeah. I, I sometimes think about when you're doing a live, in your own time, you can get it done. But when you're doing a live and you're answering questions and somebody's talking and there's other things, it's just like, it's a lot to do with that. Yeah, <laughs> all at once. There we go. So, let's get those last few letters out. See, my spatial awareness is not good. Look, I've run out of space there for my white. It's a good job this isn't on the actual cake, isn't it? You can push them all over. You've got I plenty know. of space between the B and the I. I know, because I've got no spatial awareness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll just sit it underneath. We know what it's supposed to say. And what we'll do is we'll just let these letters firm up a bit before we actually transfer them onto the cake. See, that one, I needed to put some more corn flour in. I was trying to get away with it. And it didn't work. But it's dead easy to just pop it straight back in. And we know we've got the right amount of paste because that's what came out. And by putting the corn flour in, it just comes straight out. Look. Fantastic. There we go. So there's our birthday message done with that mould. So we'll pop them to one side. Mm -hmm. I've got our buttons yeah, done. That, they? Yeah, pretty. Um, so what we're going to work on now is I'm actually going to do I'm just going to get rid of all this corn flour off the board that's come out of the mold and we're going to I made some of the buttons um, in a yellow color so we're actually going to paint those um, with some of the new wonder dust oh, yeah. because I want to have a play with it <laughs> we've sold out of the wonder dust within a day all the new colors Wow again and the, we brought in a, we only brought in a hundred of each, but they sold out straight away. There, that's a, there you go. Oh, I'm one word. Thank you. So, and then the blue, we brought in uh, two hundred of those, and they sold out. Well, they've nearly sold out. Brilliant. Okay, so these are actually done with yellow sugar paste, and we're just going to dust over them um, with one of these nice gold dusts here and a little bit of the dipping solution hey Maureen while you're on you caused confusion to you this week we got a review on Trustpilot which we don't subscribe to and then somehow you've managed to review us on an Australian website which you found really funny 
So, uh, but thank you for it because it did come to us. It went to my daughter in Australia and it's because we used to have a stockist there. We bought the domain name and then they hosted the website. But my, because my daughter's in Australia, it's actually under her name as well. So she forwarded it to us this week. But well done on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I've just tipped a little bit onto the lid. I did some dipping solution. I'm just going to give that a little... A little stir round and then we're just going to paint this over the top wow look at that yeah they all love the wonder dust it's actually really quite julie hasn't seen the wonder dust before no this is my um I'm, everything's new <laughs> the the new um and it's, really good, it's a really good price point as well the wonder dust yes it's just all new New flavours in the yeah. bundles. Who's got the new flavours yet? Have you tried them yet? Have you tried that? Um, I can't say it. What's the one beginning with A? Oh, Something no. coffee. Amaretta coffee. Yeah, amaretta, yeah. amaretta, amaretta. Yeah. John goes mad because I go amaretta. <laughs> or is it not amaretta? Was that a motorbike? No, it's Lambretta. Lambretta. I knew it was something after <laughs> I don't know. Isn't, it, isn't that the place where... Um, wasn't that the song, Amarillo? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you go to that Amarillo on your Lambretta, cross the two together, and that's the name of the new, uh, the new flavoured stuff, yeah. icing sugar. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I saw lots of sugar. you get it out at the weekend, lots of you got it delivered at the weekend, so I'm just wondering if anyone's tried it yet. But the coffee, the coffee just made me laugh with Karen, because Karen liked all the flavours, but the way that she entered mine and Terry's office on Friday afternoon when she made a batch was so funny. I only wish I'd had my phone on to video her. <laughs> well, somebody now, oh gosh, who was it? I want to say Denise. I'm really bad with names. So I'm so, so sorry if it's not Denise. Um, but somebody posted in the group either last night or this morning. Uh, I think it was yesterday sometime. I saw it anyway. Um, in the main Sugar and Crumbs Facebook group that they'd made the baby bag cake, I yeah. think, and it was with the new flavoured. Yeah, did it, yeah. Or was it somebody that had got theirs ready for this class? I don't know. Somebody in the group had used it anyway that they were going to. Yeah. I remember seeing a post. Well, they're all delicious flavours. So that's, that weekend bundle is still on. I don't know why we called it a weekend bundle. John gave it that name, so I'm not quite sure, but it's on. It's still on the website. It's sold very well this weekend. So um, the lemon biscotti is to die for. The pistachio and strawberry is amazing. Uh, the white chocolate, the mint and white chocolate, delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Lisa Boo says, there. I've just ordered the new flavours and I've just ordered Julie's No Art class. Brilliant. Yeah, so it looks like Brilliant. a few ladies have ordered Yeah, it. that's fabulous. Um, Looking forward to seeing you all in there. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave that to dry, um, just a little bit of paint that's left in the lid, and then we'll be able to scrape that dust back into the pot so we're not wasting anything later on. And then don't forget there's the summer bundle as well that's on sale, and Ruth Moffitt just said, I've just got the new bundle and just made passion fruit martini ice cream. It's lovely. Ooh, that sounds nice. Okay, so I'm going to move all these to one side to be drying. Um, I'm going to leave the cake just to set and settle for a little while. So we'll have a look at making some of the accessories um, and then we'll transfer it onto the board when it's just had a little bit of time just to harden off a bit. Um, I'm not tempting fit. So anybody who wants to join Julie's class for the Noah's Ark, it's £30. And of course you can still join the Gravity um, dress cake mm -hmm. if you want to. Uh, feel free to join that. And Julie's very kindly donating it to Seashell Trust and they're coming to collect it tomorrow morning. So Julie will get to see who her cake's going to. Which is brilliant. I'm really pleased about that. So let's bring this so that we can see the models that we're making for the top. I'm going to move that one over there. Lynn Robinson used the pumpkin spice latte on a mannequin cake and that's gorgeous as well. That, oh, that, that could have been it. Yeah. I knew Absolutely. I'd seen somebody that had posted that used one of the new flavours for something that I was doing. I did tell you my memory's really bad. Okay, so let's start off. We'll make the, um, I think it's like a tomato, isn't it? Like a pin cushion, a tomato pin cushion. And for that, I'm going to use 
some red sugar paste. That should be about enough. Okay, I'm going to use modelling paste for most of the things, but this is quite a simple shape, so we're just going to use this red sugar paste. So I'm just going to give that a nice knead together. And then we'll move on and we'll make the cupcake uh, pin cushion and also the cotton reels and the needle and little bits and bobs. Okay, so I'm going to roll that around nice and smooth in my hands. If you end up with a crease, um, just make sure that that's at the bottom of your paste. Okay, that's a similar sort of size. It might look lost on that massive cake. <laughs> okay, so as I say, I've got a crease underneath here, look. You see that? So I'm going to make sure that that's on the bottom of the cake. And I'm just going to use my Dresden tool. So I'm going to be using this narrow end of the tool. And I'm going to tuck it in underneath and then rock it over to the top. Okay, so then that's just forming like a groove, like an indentation. I'm going to go around and do the same at the other side and then I'm going to split that in half so like on a clock face so I've done 12 o'clock six o'clock three o'clock nine o'clock and they're all meeting at the middle and then in between I'm going to do a groove in between each one now it's entirely up to you you don't have to do as many as this you can do less sections if you want I think I got a bit carried away there did extra um, I've got some green modelling paste in here. So all the modelling pastes that I'm using are the Soricino modelling pastes. Just in the different colours. Okay, and all we're going to do is I've got some water on this side and a paintbrush. I'm just going to paint a little bit of water into each groove. She says missing that one completely. This is what happens when I don't have my glasses on. Christine Sam says, you're right, Julie, someone did do the baby bag, and I'm sure it was today I saw it. Oh, she thank you, I'm not going... name. Yeah, oh, I'm really bad with names. I used to work um, in a school, and I could learn a full class of children's names within a day. No bother. The parents' names, the staff names, adult <laughs> names, not a clue. So I'm pulling off a small piece of paste, and we're just going to roll that, so you can roll it on your hand. Oh, my hands are getting quite uh, warm under the lights there, so we're just going to roll it on the board. So um, Julie is using Saracino modelling paste, and if you've um, some modelling paste is absolutely awful, but I have to say the Saracino is absolutely delicious, isn't it? Have you ever tried it? Do you know that? I, it's not something I've eaten. Is it? I've not, not tried, tried it. it. No. Can you not spend the smell of it? Yeah, I mean, I do like the smell, especially the, it, um, yeah, the, the brown, butter, butter. yeah, the brown smells absolutely gorgeous. Mm. So I've just broken that strand in half because obviously it was quite long and that's just going to start off in the middle there. Oh gosh, I can smell it now, it's lovely. Okay, and I'm just going to pull the excess off at the bottom. So we're just going to put these little strands all the way around, just into the little grooves. And all I do, I just um, googled like sewing accessories and just, just to see what kind of things. These came up as being really popular. I think these were from quite a long time ago. I seem to remember this kind of yeah. uh, pincushion from my childhood. Um, good, just, uh, good point, Post. Um, somebody just mentioned there, Roxy. If you're buying Julie's class, select, click and collect. Don't pay postage. It drives me nuts having to pay all the postage back. I don't mind paying the postage back because it's yours. I end up having to do it for all the orders. Unfortunately, we can't. Um, we haven't got an option that if it's for classes, not to pay. So do please select, click and collect. Don't order anything else with your class. You can order as many classes as you want in one go, but don't order any products with it because it won't go out. It won't get dispatched. And I know I'm only small, but I don't fit in a postage box. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I can't, I can't actually post me to you. I probably could fit in quite a big postage box, but it would be more more shipping. Linda Slater says she's used the vanilla latte on her son's uh, cake house. It smells gorgeous. The vanilla latte is delicious. 
Well, I'm looking forward to uh, getting to grips with all these new flavours. Yeah, you've got them all, haven't you? I have. When I get back to the cake studio, I am going to be cooking up a storm. So Sally, Sally Martin says she's so pleased that you had a problem covering the cake mm -hmm. because you've taught her how to rectify it. Thank you very much. Brilliant. I'm and good at problems. The next one, so one, yeah. I have quite a few. And um, Catherine. <laughs> Do you remember that very first time I came? I was so nervous, my first Facebook Live. I'm getting quite used to them now, so I'm okay. <laughs> but my very first one, oh my word, I couldn't even cover a cake. But oh, do you remember? No. Do you remember no. that? When I came to do the makeup bag cake? Yeah. The cake board was just like, it ripped and it was, oh, what a mess. Well, that's Sally and Martin off YouTube. And Catherine and um, Michaela, how would you say that? McLeod's. <laughs> yeah. Do we do we do trade accounts? We do for we do for businesses. If you go to the homepage, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, um, there's a nice big um, box there that says trade accounts. Press that; it'll take you through, give you an email address, and then just contact them to see if you qualify. We only do trade on our own products, not on anybody else's products. There we go. Okay, so we've got all the little strands going in for the grooves and what we're going to do for the top just one more question yeah. are you allowed to buy classes from the overseas maureen yes you can now the thing is we don't ship out of the uk all right and um, not via our website anybody who wants to buy anything who are abroad has to come in via the uh, contact page but if you want to buy a class, you can buy that on the website. But can you pick UK as your country? And then that will get you in. And just make sure you select click and collect um, at the warehouse so that you don't, because otherwise it, it might charge you for shipping. So yes, you can buy classes, no problems at all. I know that's the beauty with the online classes, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't matter where about in the world. But the beauty are. with online classes is you've got no hotel accommodation, mm -hmm. no travelling, mm -hmm. you're not exhausted by the time you get yeah. to the class. You, haven't got to worry about get, the day. you don't have to get your cake home. Yeah, you don't have to get your cake no. home, no. <laughs> and you can stop and have a breather when you want, because yeah. what you do is you stop and think, right, I'm gonna watch the rest of this now, I'm gonna come back and finish my project later. Yeah. Well one of the ladies today, she um got the cake. She's done. watching tonight. Is she? She's got the cake all done, which looks fabulous, and then she's going to paint it tomorrow, which is really good. So all I've done here is I've just rolled out the green modelling paste to about one millimetre in thickness, and I've just cut out, just using the Calyx cutter, or you could use um, a star cutter as well. Now, Julie, that's the right thing. Click free delivery. So click um, free delivery for classes. Click and collect or free delivery, it doesn't matter as long as you don't do the shipping. Oops. So that's that one finish, look. I'm going to pop that to one side. Why you do that, can I just, um, so the, I'm just going to get Julie to pick the prize draw there for the S&C sparkles. So we brought out a range of sparkles and they've sold really very nicely. And what I said is, all the ladies who actually <coughs> bought, um, who actually bought a sparkle, I would put a ticket in the bowl. So I'm just going to pass the bowl over to Julie. She can give it a shake. I'm giving it a shake now. If you put your hands in and give it a little shake. Okay. And then will you pull out a winner for me? I please? will. Oh, the responsibility there. Yes, exactly. I'm going to close my eyes as well. So for a £25 voucher. Is that just one that I've got there? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Have a look. Da -da -da. It is Miss S.L. Thomas. Miss L. S. L. Thomas. I can't, S. L. Remember Thomas. I can't remember what her first name is, but that's what it was on the invoice. Yeah. Well, I know they have showed that. Pardon? Have they got a phone number on it? Or? Uh, no, no, it's, it's the order, order number. number. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Miss Ellen so Thomas, you have won a £25 yeah. voucher. Karen Naylor's watching. Karen, can you take note of that in case I forget to tell you tomorrow? Because okay. <laughs> generally I get to tell her. Okay, and so then, I'll keep that one to one side yes, separate please. so that we know. Yeah. I'll put it over there, look, with my dress. Is there any more being drawn up to that? Um, I think, or is that it? 
Wait a minute. Well, we've got another draw to do later. Oh, and right. then just one more thing. Um, so, a lovely lady. She watches every live. She's a very big supporter of Sugar and Crumbs. So many of you know her. And I just want to wish her a big, big happy birthday. It was on Saturday. And Julie, are you ready? Are you ready, Simon? Oh, you don't want to hear me, Simon. Absolutely. Charlie. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Breeder. Happy birthday to you. Oh, you have a lovely day, Breeder. I know, I realised I hadn't told you. Happy birthday, Breeder. Oh, I saw your post. I remember seeing it <laughs> yeah. at the weekend. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got some um, grey Saracino modelling paste. So all I've done is just taken white um, paste and just added a teeny tiny bit of black in. Um, and this is going to make the needle and also the pins. So we need to be rolling this quite thin. We're going to make the needle first. And again, it's not going to be the thickness of a normal needle because that would just be crazy. We're just giving the impression. So we've got our nice um, long thin sausage of paste. I'm just rolling one end to a bit more of a point. And then using my Dresden tool, I'm just going to indent into the top there to start creating the top of the needle and then I'm actually going to lift that up and I'm just going to you could use a knife actually not onto the board obviously <laughs> don't have it finger, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah not onto your finger no not onto your finger either okay and we'll I just think what you did before was enough to be fair yeah you just let it you do because we're going to um slap the cotton thread through. Oh, yeah. we're going to thread the needle oh, later I might need to put my glasses on for that bit there. Right. Oh, you're not half a job then, are you? No, 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 no absolutely not. Yeah, no. we've got a couple of draws to do because we've got Laura's. Um, if you watch Thursday's live, okay, so this is the way I'm going to do it now. If you watch the live, I'd still like you to like and share, but instead of me picking from the shares, I'm going to pick from the comments. So on the page today, which is this page where you're watching the live, I popped a post up to, for you to say what you thought about Laura's Facebook Live on Thursday. Just one comment per person, otherwise you'll be disqualified. So if you've done two comments, go back and take one out because we mm -hmm. want to make it fair for everybody. I don't want to see 20 comments by one person, please. Which is what happens in the likes and shares because people are very good, they like and share. But the thing with like and shares is if your, privacy system, if your settings are on privacy, I don't get to see that you've shared and therefore let's say there's 250 shares and um, I might only see 46, 50 of them. I don't get to see all of them. So I think this would, would be the, a, a much fairer and nicer way. And because I'm late with it, I'm actually going to pull out two winners tonight and I might even get a bit clever and do three. We'll see. So, um, and I'm just laughing at Pat S here. Is John watching? No. I'm just watching Pat S here. Um, her husband thinks she's gone mad because she suddenly started singing Happy Birthday. <laughs> All, how, how many of you ladies have asked you before? Go on, how many sang out loud or how many sang inside? <laughs> okay, so what I've done here is um, instead of messing about and getting um, a cutting mat, I've just actually used the back of one of my silicone moulds <laughs> just as a cutting mat. Um, so I've rolled out again a really, really thin uh, string of the modeling paste these are going to be for the pins and i'm just going to roll two tiny tiny little balls now my fingers are getting really hot my hands um it's with the the lights and things so if you keep seeing me go like this with my hands all i'm doing is i've got my cornflower pouch here and because the paste is sticking to my hands i'm just it, yeah i'm just rubbing yeah. my fingers on just to stop the paste from sticking Oh, do you know what? It's lovely how many of people are saying that they sing out loud. Jill Cook says, me. Yeah, Alex Sorkey Saw 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 did. Debbie Hargreaves did. Aww. Leslie Green did. That's lovely. Pam Helen Wedley, yeah. Mark and Paula Perkins. Aww. Well, it's Paula Perkins. They've just said the same one. Yeah. So I've just popped that little Embreda. dot on the end, look. And Breeder, because I didn't tell it was her, she started singing. So oh. she realised it was her. <laughs> Sorry, Breeder. I did realise as I started the song that I hadn't said who it was for. <laughs> oh, gosh. So I've just popped those over there and they're going to, um, before we dust them with the silver, we're going to dust them with silver petal dust, uh, like a luster dust. But before we do that, we want them to set 
um, and kind of dry and harden a little bit. So the next thing we're going to make is the um, cupcake pin cushion. So again, we're going to take, this time I'm using the Soracino modelling paste in red. Um, just to give it a little bit, because it's a little bit bigger, we're just going to give it a bit more stability. Um, and the paste is a little bit firmer to work with, which will work better for this one. Because obviously the sugar paste in my hot hands is, is getting quite soft. I'm just laughing how many people say the husbands roll their eyes. John rolls his eyes and goes and goes, you're not going to sing, are you? Do you remember when John did the comments and Amy sang happy birthday one night? He went, oh, he was like that, looking at me and Simon. <laughs> oh, you've got to have a bit of fun, haven't you? Okay, so again, if you've got a crease, just pop that to the bottom of the ball. And um, what we're going to do is, with my hands at like um, a 45 degree angle to each other, so like a V-shape, uh, like that. We're just going to narrow one end slightly. And then I'm going to use the board, and I'm actually going to press it down. We're trying to flatten the top. And normally when I'm making models, I never ever flatten them onto the board because I don't want them to have a flat bottom. But this time I do want it to have a flat edge because it's like the bottom of um, a cupcake. Okay, and you'll see there, look, it just flattens the top really well. Yeah. And so we'll do the same again for the bottom. That's good. That's clever, Julie. There we go. So then that flattens your bottom off nicely. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to score some lines for the cupcake case. So again, just with the Dresden, we're just going to go around. And what I normally do, which for some reason I haven't, is I normally do the same as what I did uh, for the tomato. Oh, it's actually worked out okay this time. And I normally do 12 o'clock and six o'clock, three o'clock and nine o'clock. Um, or depending if I want to do it into kind of into halves and then each section into three to make it a little bit easier to get them even but actually that one worked out well almost we'll put that bit to the back <laughs> was it going to say anything? it's almost there's always a back of everything there we go it's all these birthdays singing it's just as Karen Naylor said can you do that to flatten her bottom? <laughs> <laughs> anytime anytime and I was saying I think I'll upgrade a grey board if it will flatten my bottom <laughs> I can try it on mine, that's an idea. Rachel I don't think I can climb up high enough onto the right top, I need a set stool. Rachel Hibbert says she loves, oh, the food. where's that feed gone now, where's it gone? She said, I love the cake from your story with all the animals, do you have a date for that class? Yes, you must have missed it Rachel, the Noah's Ark, uh, the Noah's Ark, do you want to get it out again Julie? Mm. Let them all have a look because some of them weren't with us at the beginning. So the Noah's Art class that Julie's got is the 7th of June, okay? Remember, you don't, it doesn't matter if you're at work for the day, the class is yours forever. So this is the class, it's £30, lots of details here. Do you want to go through the detail that we're going to learn? Yep, sure. So a little bit of basic cake carving. So we're going to start with a round cake. Um, it's an 8 inch cake, so it's um, quite um, a reasonable size to make for a cake. We're not going huge. You could scale it up. Um, and equally you could, if you tried to scale it down you just wouldn't get as many animals in, okay, but so it's an 8 inch um, cake, slight carving, if I put it to one side like you can see we're carving it into a boat shape for the arc and then we've got all of the pairs of animals, so we've got the pigs, the hippos, the pandas, the elephants, the giraffes and also the whales down here at the bottom. I think so, the whales are so cute. I yeah, think they're all like, cute, but yeah. I like it. So some hand modelling for the animals. And again, because we've gone for the different animals, because in an arc, um, it's not all about the wild animals and the jungle animals. It's all of the animals. So I went for some so that you could actually go forward and use them on different cakes um, and different modelling techniques. So they, they haven't all got round heads. You know, we've, we've got some shape. Um, obviously like with the elephants with the trunks we've got the hippos with their kind of elongated heads um, and obviously with the giraffes they've got a bit more shape to their heads as well um, and the giraffe pattern you don't get to see that from the front very much and they're just saying so it we're doing bigger than an eight pattern. inch it is actually an eight inch i promise cake. i promise yeah. this is a 12 inch kick drum yeah okay um, every time you put all the features on and everything yeah. it's a substantial looking cake once you made it it's in. i think it's because it's a lot packed in yeah. but yeah. and i think any child is going to love that there we go, look. So there's my 12 inch ruler, look. There's my 8 inches. Yeah. Yep. There you go. 8 inch cake. 
and Rachel, uh, Rachel was asking about it, it says amazing, two days before her 21st, amazing, two days before my 21st, that's my cake sorted. There you go, your 21st, you 21st birthday cake, brilliant. Yeah, the class is live now on the website, so you can buy it, I'll build the group tomorrow and then, um, and then you can join the group. Yeah, and I'll get there, it's so... So hot off the press, I haven't even typed up the, um, the yeah. materials <laughs> list yet, so I'll get that done. When I get home, <laughs> let me get home from here and I'll get that sorted and emailed across um, yeah. to Carol to get that on as well. No, it's all right, I'll get you to put it on. Oh yeah, I can put it on, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. No worries. Okay, so I'm going to do a similar thing with the um, cupcake top. So again, I want the bottom to be quite flat because that's going on top of the cupcake case. And obviously we're going to round it off a bit at the top here. But what I actually want to do is if I just pop that on there, look, and if I turn that over, if you can do the overhead, please. Okay, so as you can see there, look, if that's just got a flat top and that's got a flat base, it's still not, you're going to have that gap, okay? So what we need to do is we need to pull this paste, so we're kind of stroking it out with your thumb, look. Okay, so you need to pull this out so that this sits over the top of the outside of your cupcake case. And this just helps to add to the realism. Well, I know it's not really realistic, but you know what I mean. It makes it look more like what it's supposed to look like. So you can see there that you're just kind of creating a bit of a dip, a bit of a well for the top of the cupcake case to sit onto. Thanks, Debbie. Debbie's put the link up. I'll there. just pin the link. So can you see the difference there now, look? That's sitting and it's coming just over the edge a little bit, so you haven't got that gap anymore. This one looks more like an ice cream. I think I must have um, used a bit more pink paste. I think you have, but you've got a bigger cake this We've time. We've got a bigger cake. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then what we're going to do is just with your Dresden, we're going to just mark a line going around in the spiral as if it's a nice swirly cupcake up to the top going to move that up a little this Saracino modelling base set tastes so lovely I'll have to try a bit I think it's because I use it all the time I tend not to because obviously when I'm working in the kitchen I can't eat anything while I'm working so it's quite good because I know a lot of people say, oh, how do you manage to not eat all the leftovers all the time? But it's because it's hygiene. I can't have my hands when I'm working I've at home. I've seen all the so. cake cut-offs down there. Has Karen not had any today? She Karen didn't, good. know. Karen's no. been really good. Um, both, both Karen Terry and I are on a diet. Did Terry have some? Terry yeah. had some. Yeah. yeah. But she can afford to, can't she? She's oh, skinny. Gosh, Pat wrong. Broderick has booked on. Excellent. Oh, so a little cherry on the top, look. There we go. For that. Yeah. And then what we'll do is... We'll just make, I've got a cocktail stick somewhere. I did have a cocktail yeah. stick somewhere. So Karen is staying rigid to like her diet. I'm staying she did rigid really to well. mine. I, I have lost seven pounds. Fabulous. We're just going to use the cocktail stick. I'm just going to poke that in, look. And that's just going to make a hole for the um, pins to go in. So just pop a little, a couple of holes in. We can always make them a little bit bigger if we need to. Um, and we're just going to pop that to one side and again once those pins have dried a little bit and they've firmed up we'll luster those and we can pop those in to there so that's that one done so then we'll have a look at the cotton reels next i love them they're so cute aren't they they are and they're really really quick and easy to do so i have now this is actually um a bit of a mixture of paste this one it's also a chino modeling paste and in here is there's a little bit of skin tone there's a little bit of brown and there's some white as well. So it's Don't kind of it, it? no, it's kind Please of a hodgepodge of colours. Um, I tend to find when I'm making my figures, um, when I'm modelling figures and things, to vary the skin turns. I tend to add a little bit of brown to my skin turn. And actually, if you add a little bit more, it makes a really good colour for the cotton reels. Um, but I ran out of that, so I stuck some other bits of colours in as well. So it's a slightly different shade of cotton reel. This must be a different brand of cotton reel, this one. 
And all we're going to do, we're going to start off by rolling out um, for the tops and the bottoms, and then we're going to make the centres. So I'm actually going to use a slightly longer rolling pin. So again, I want this to be quite, um, not hugely thick. We're going for probably about four millimetres in thickness for this. And I'm going to be using my favourite circle cutters. I'm just going to get my cutting mat. Mm -hmm. like so. so I'm just going to have a sneaky look at how we're all doing on the post and why you like Laura's live. And then tomorrow I'll be putting up a post about why you like Julie's live and then we'll draw that on Thursday. Then on Thursday it'll go on and we'll do it for each. We're going to do it for each week. And we'll see how many of you put. I like Julie's live because she does things wrong and then shows us how to put it right. Well, we've got 93 <laughs> comments, so Brilliant. it is half past nine. I'm going to load the comments up and I'm going to give Ju I'm going to pull three prizes, okay? So I'm just going to get the all, all the comments. And um, please make sure you haven't posted twice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it over here and then Julie can put a finger on it and pick a winner. Okay, doke. So all I'm doing here is I've got this um, the set of 19 round cutters and I'm just using the three smallest sizes. So I'm using the third, the third size up, if that makes sense. And I'm going to cut out six circles because I need one for the top of the cotton reel and one for the bottom. Six, yeah. Right, so I can just, just so I can get yep. out three sizes in the time I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. So, I've got to lean over and spin it. So I'm going to spin it a few times, yeah. so let me get it spinning. Yeah. And then you've just got to put I'll your finger on and stab it, but on. not stab it enough so it stops. Can you see there, Simon? Do you want me to hold the overhead? Yes, please. So let me just get it spinning. Let's go to the top. So I'm just going to go backwards and forwards. You keep going backwards and forwards. You, whenever you're ready. Ooh, so I press on that one there. Oh, right. sorry. Jenny Moorwood. So Jenny Moorwood. So Jenny Moorwood says, always love Laura's lives. I've learned so much from watching her. She's a natural. Her brownie meringue cake she made last Thursday looks so delicious. We'll definitely be giving it a go. Thanks, Laura. So Jenny, right into the office to claim your seven bundle of icing sugars. So we'll give it another five minutes and then I'll get you to pick another one. Okay, so I'm using the next size up, next size down. So this is the second smallest cutter. And as you can see, I've just indented That's clever. into there just to give it a little bit of shape. Now we don't need to do it on the bottom one. Um, you actually, you can it. do it on the bottom one because you do see the bottom one a little bit. Oh, do you? Yeah. It's the next bit we don't need to do on the bottom one. It depends how fat you do the middle. Okay, that's indented those. And then what we're going to do, this is the smallest cutter. We're just going to do another one in on the, um, just on the tops. Okay, and it just gives it a little bit more um, character, a bit more detail. And then we're going to use the rest of this paste. We're going to roll it into um, a fat sausage. So Tusha, the page is sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzles. It's the page you're on. So our website page, our Facebook page is sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzles. It's where you watch all the free Facebook lives. The other lives are actually in your class, um, so you don't. So we don't do anything in there. These are on the on the free Facebook lives. So what you need to do is one comment per person. Otherwise, your your uh, thing will be void. It have to be strict. One comment per person, and I'll pick three winners tonight. And um, if you've already won and we get picked again, unfortunately, it'll go to the next person. Okay, so I've rolled out um, a fat sausage, and then I've just cut out three three smaller pieces, and we're just going to round them off again. So I'm just going to give them a bit more of a roll, and that's going to form the middle bit. I'm just going to flatten them down, squash them down a little bit. Sorry. That's okay. That was way louder than mine. <laughs> Does that mean you're more sneaky? No, he's got yours all the water. Water. Oh, <laughs> that's why then. And I've got this. I've got this diet-free caffeine coke. Um, 
Diet Coke and no caffeine, but it gives you the burps. So it's basically coloured water then, isn't it? Yeah. If it's got no caffeine, it's got no just really sugar. Just <laughs> Exactly. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just patting these together, look, and all that's going to do is it just widens them up a little bit and squashes them down and makes them into a nice cotton reel size. So you can try it on your tops. So you need to make sure that it's not wider, obviously, than the base. And then all we're going to do is we're going to get some different colours. So I've got some pink in here. And again, I'm rolling that into a sausage. We're going to roll that into a strip. And we're going to cover these little pieces with this. So you want to have this quite thick. So probably about four millimetres. You can see there, look, it's quite quite thick, thicker than, than you sometimes would do. And we're going to measure it on here. It needs to be the same size as the height. So I'm just going to trim that off, like so. I'm just going to trim that straight. And then what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the shell tool, which is, do you know when you buy the packs of modeling tools and it has lots of different tools in? This is the one that looks like a shell. And all we're going to do is we're just going to run that along the paste. This is going to make it look like the strands of cotton and thread. Now you could do that with a Dresden tool, but if you think about it here, this has got one, two, three, four, five, six, um, six little Dresden tools in one, really, basically. So it gives you a lot more strands. You turn that upside Leah down Gilliam. and just cover. Leah Gillam has just booked your class. Oh, fabulous. Well, you've had good bookings for this yeah, one Yeah, that's now, really good. It? Yeah, excellent. Very good. Okay, so if it doesn't quite reach, just give it a stretch. That's the beauty of using the modelling paste, is you can give it a good stretch. Thanks, Mandy. I did wonder who said the angry face, and really appreciate you changing it to a love heart. Yeah, if ever you send angry faces by mistake, then quickly change it with another face. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Don't be angry with me. <laughs> no, it's me. So oh. somebody, had, somebody was on their headphones as well as I've opened my can of pop. So uh. <laughs> didn't go down too well down the levels. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do you know what? How clever is that? Do you know what I thought you was going to do? What? I thought you was going to roll it all out. Oh my word! How long would that take? Exactly. Sorry, until midnight. I think you was going to roll it. Eh? What a thin strip. Yeah. I did. I thought she'd actually rolled it round. I thought she'd rolled it, rolled it really thin. And you could it do that. <laughs> if you've got a few hours to spare, you could. Yeah. Carol, yeah. tonight's live isn't on. I'll put it on tomorrow. So the post that's on now is for Laura's Facebook Live. There's a picture of the cake that she made. Um, so that was for Laura's Facebook Live. I haven't done Julie's. I'll do Julie's tomorrow with the picture of this cake that she's making. So that you can all recognise the live. Okay, so now I'm going to do a purple one. So again, we're using the exact same method. And then what we're going to do is we are going to run, do um, a small strand to come off. So it looks like, gives you the illusion that that's how we've done it. Clever even though girl. we haven't. Clever girl. Anything to save a little bit of time. Oh, Mandy's saying, I caught it, laugh out loud. I'd never be any angry with any of you sugar and crumbs lot. <laughs> Thank you. So if you realise, like there, look, it's way, way, way too wide. All I'm going to do is with my hands, I'm just going to shuffle it in like that. And then roll it out. And that just gives me the extra pace then to roll out wider. There we go. Or longer, rather. <laughs> so, I've missed that. Where's that comment? Oh, it's gone. Lee Carroll says, you may be making a noise with your cam, Carol, but, you, but you've but you not called us la all ladies so far. No, I haven't, Lee. He's one of the men. We've got two men watching yes, tonight. Yes, I remember. I saw that live. <laughs> yeah. Where... We've got Lee and Wayne yeah. watching tonight. <laughs> Lee Brilliant. told me to stop calling them all girls and ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to trim that excess off and just roll that round. Let me just join that. Just pinch it together with your fingers. Uh, and then just texture over the top. By the same, we'll pop the joint to the back. And then again. 
Um, if yeah, you'd best off doing a review because the ladies who don't live in the UK, if you win, then I will give you a free class. So you do you do actually get a little bit more, but that's because you travelled away. So don't worry. So do put your actual comments. You never know. They're asking people who've won free classes. Um, I know that um, there's, there's a few few people who've won free classes from Australia. Tony is one of them. She's watching tonight. So don't worry. We can't send you the products, but we can give you a free class. So don't I think worry Wayne's about that. Wayne won a class as well. Pardon? I think Wayne won a class. Did, he? did Wayne win a class today? I think so, yeah. yeah. He's watching Wayne. Yeah, let us know. Okay, so we'll just do this one as well. We'll do a green one. But I say it doesn't matter what colours you use. So it's a really, really good opportunity to use up. So if you've been doing some modelling and you've got some odd bits of Saracino left over, um, or you could use sugar paste with some Tylo added in as well if needs be. I just find that the, the modelling paste is a little bit easier to use and work with because it's a bit firmer. So again, texturing all those strands. that to size wrap it round Should yeah they are Julie Haig great quick way to do the cotton reel I would have done it rolling a thin long sausage they are they yeah. are Julie you're yeah. with me girl <laughs> yeah I mean to be fair if I was doing um, a ball of wool I would do individual strands but the cotton reels it's much quicker yeah. and easier to do it this way as I say and we will add that um, extra strand detail onto it as well to give that further illusion yeah there's a few people saying that right so what time is it is it time for another prize who moved your clock out of the way tonight I don't know brought in the clock now for yeah. the tutor it's okay I can, I can still see it it's fine well, they never have a clock, have they? So we've been doing Facebook Lives for five years. Mm -hmm. Never have a clock to let them know. And then we've got to keep looking at their way, the connect just there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where would you prefer the clock? Up there or yeah. there? Behind the camera there, you see. Um, yeah, possibly. I mean, even if there was room on the shelf, you could always pop that. Imagine you wouldn't maybe see the letters, uh, numbers, mm. if it was up there on the shelf. But it's, to me, it doesn't matter either way. Um, but you've got that now. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm easily pleased, I really am. Okay, so what we're going to do next yeah, quite is... Quite a lot of them thought you had to do a long strand and wind it round. Oh, there you go. There you see. go, you see. Good tip. All tips. Good tip. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm now going to go and find another winner. Okay. Don't let me forget to put them extra little strands on. We're going to do that in a moment. That to so this is Laura's brownie meringue cake. So Laura did a live on Thursday night. I was supposed to post it the next day, but I forgot to take a picture of the cake. And then I was therefore waiting for Simon to send it to me. It would have been a good idea if I'd messaged Simon, but I didn't. Anyhow, so I'll do Julie's tomorrow because we'll be caught, we'll be uh, we'll be drawing Julie's prize out on Thursday. But because I'm so late with this one, I'm actually going to do several bundles because I'm in a good mood and I've lost seven pounds in weight. Yay! <laughs> That's really good. Right. Yeah. So okay. We'll start from the top comment. So we're going to start from the top comment okay. there. So let me get it spinning. Yeah. So let's go up. So we have to just wait for it to load up. See how it stops for a minute. Oh, right, load yeah, them all so up. getting all the comments. Yep, yeah, so then it says we're oh, stopped right, now. So you've got that. So we've oh. got to go back, go back. Go back. <laughs> I nearly picked it myself then. What's <laughs> your finger? That one there, isn't yeah. it? Oops, Margaret sorry, Irving. One. So Margaret Irving loves watching Laura's live. I would definitely be having a go at making the brownie meringue cake. It looked fab. So Margaret, if you email info.sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com, if you can't remember that, Simon will pop up a little thing in a minute, but if you can't remember that, just go to our website, okay, Sugar and Crumbs. We don't contact you, by the way, because of the spammer that's out there contacting people and asking people to send links and things like that and follow this link. We don't contact anybody. So um, go to our website, go to contact us, and then just say that you are a winner of tonight's live for the draw for Laura's brownies. 
and I'll pick another winner before we finish. That's Margaret Irving. Brilliant. So what I was doing then, just while Carol was um, telling you about that, is I've just rolled out a piece of white Saracino modelling paste. Again, you could use sugar paste if you wanted. Um, I've done it to probably about two millimetres, one and a half, two millimetres in thickness. So it's quite thin, this piece. Um, and this is going to make the little bit of fabric on the top that looks like it's kind of a bit of um, embroidery. So this is the Katie Sue. Look at that, look, I've got the impression of the, um, the letters on there in uh, cornflower. Anyway, so <laughs> I digress. So this is the silicone mat from Katie Sue, which is the, it looks like the Ada fabric that you use for cross stitching. So I'm just going to use it as an impression mat. So I'm going to press down. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a roll as well, just to make sure we get a nice deep impression. And then let's peel that up and you can see there, look, you've got your release that from the board i love that little mat it's lovely isn't it it's good isn't it i it's use this for stitch mat yeah i use it for um do you know if you're doing like um a cake with i very rarely ever use it for what it's supposed to be for <laughs> i've used it for cakes where i've made speakers do you know so like if you've got um, mm -hmm. an amp with a guitar um it's really good for the the black fabric that goes over the top it's fab for that it's also good for if you're doing um, a backpack cake do you know like they have the webbed pockets on the side of a backpack yeah um, it's really good for That's doing good texture idea. on that as well so I'm just going to with my plastic cutting wheel oh look how lovely and neat you are oh I don't say that I nearly messed up then <laughs> we're just going to it doesn't it doesn't have to be neat okay we're just going to roughly cut that out because we're actually going to tuck it under and kind of just give it a little bit of a fold yeah. so it looks as if it's been just plopped down on top of your cake. But to be fair, you tend to hold it like that when you stitch yeah. it anyhow, don't you? Yeah, I mean, you could do like a um, hoop, so you could go around it with some brown paste if you wanted to. Yeah. Okay, so that's just giving you a little bit of fabric. And then we're going to use the, again, the Katie Sue in the stitching type range, which is these flowers. I think they do two or three different... They do One's two like different this. Molds, yeah. Is it two? They look very similar mm. though, don't they? Yeah. I know because I have to make sure the boys pick the right ones. Right, so I just got a random one, I don't know which one it is. Yeah. It doesn't say on it, but no. I think it's a relief as well, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. See, I know. I know so ladies, things. if you do win off our lives, we only shout out the winners. We don't tag because our site has been um, hit by a spammer several times. And if ever you get sugar and crumbs messaging you and under any circumstances, block, block and block. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, it's happened to us for the last couple of years now. And like we put a competition up and they copy the competition and then they ask you to send your friends request and then they tell you that you've won and to follow the link. And before you know it, they've cleared your bank account. So please don't do it. So we will shout out the winners and then you uh, just contact us. All right. It's really awful the things you have to do isn't it nowadays yeah. with these spammers and things and you get to the point as well i find when i'm getting emails um oh haven't you got to read every email now? yeah and you have to be really careful and like you constantly question everything and i don't believe anything that i receive no. anymore and it's really sad it's the same with phone calls i don't trust yeah. anybody yeah. on the phone yeah so they ring and i go right that's fine i'll ring you back and they say i'll give you a number i said no i'll find my own number mm. And off I go, <laughs> go yeah. to Google or go and find what it is I'm looking yeah. for. So with this one, I find it easier just to fill in the individual little sections of the flower. That's a clever way of doing it. And then if you've got a little bit of excess, when it comes to the end, push all your excess bits into the middle look and then that can go and form that one. And if there's not quite enough, just pop a little bit more paste on the top. Oh, Lee, have I shouted out ladies? Sorry, ladies and two gents. <laughs> you went, Carol, you've just done it for oh. the first time. Sorry. Right, you girls, you're going to have to remind me when the gents are watching. There's ladies and two gents tonight. Not all Plus gents Simon. are going to speak up, are they, anyway? But Leah's is very vocal, and so yeah, is Wayne. There might be a hundred gents watching. Yeah, yeah, there could be. That's Better. cute, isn't it? So you can just see there, look, it picks up the stitching. Pass them really well around there. Hopefully that shows up with that dark paste. Um, and what I'm going to do is just a tiny bit of water. And I'm just going to pop that on. 
And then what we're going to do, we're going to pop that to one side. We're going to check to see how our needle and pins are doing. I'm just going to grab another piece of kitchen towel. Oh yeah, they're firming up. Because the cotton, uh, we're going to thread the needle once we've dusted it. So Jean Kelly says, as a sewer herself, mm -hmm. she is loving watching this live and making the making of this cake. Lovely. I like sewing. I just don't get the chance to do it very often. Um, my daughter did textiles at college. Um, oh, no, she didn't at school, sorry. She did animal management at college. Okay, so I've got this, it's the Satin Silver um, Edible Luster by Sugar Flare. I quite like the satin one because it's not too sparkly shiny. So it's better for if you're doing like um, a metallic, like a metal finish rather than a metallic finish. So it's good for things like, that are made from metal. So like the pins and the needles and things, because it's not too sparkly. There's a sparkly version as well. Uh, Ruth Moffat, do we send emails of classes and offers as I get those? We do, but the reason we send those, you can check those. You'll see that it's coming from our email accounts. Don't ever respond to them by replying. You can click the links of those and that will take you to the classes on the website and things like that. But don't respond back to the email because it goes back to a no response box. Um, because what we like to do is we like to keep all our traffic to come into info.sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com where the lovely Karen Naylor will look after you. She's at the end of the phone. You all know Karen Naylor, so that's the lady you need to be speaking yeah. to. Okay, so this is the bit now where we're going to make the really thin strands for the thread. Okay, a bit shorter. And this is the one that's going to go through the needle, hopefully. So we need one of the ends to be quite thin because that's going to slot through. Grab hold of it and it should just should just go through. And pull it from the other side. Ah, it's sticking to my hands because it's so warm. So Lee, do you make cakes then? He's he, see Lee is saying, uh, um There we go. I think his text has got a bit muddled up because it says sewing. I love I am doing a cross stitch it. Of London at the moment that he got at the last show in Birmingham. Ah, oh, brilliant. I've just introduced my daughter to um, cross stitch. So, what I'm going to do is this I other end. Cross -stitching. This other end here, not that one, but the loose end, I'm going to tuck that underneath one of the flowers so it looks as if it's actually coming from underneath that it's been stitching. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? Yeah. Have you seen that cross stitch at the back that Karen Naylor did for me? Have you shown it on a live one? Yeah. Oh, there, yes. I said, oh, it, I said to everybody it took her 10 hours and she went, no, <gasps> 10 weeks. I was going to say, <laughs> no way. Weeks. I don't know how many hours a day. Karen, how oh, many hours a day was it for beautiful. 10 weeks? I went, look at this that Karen made for me. She did it in 10 hours. <laughs> I was thinking 10 hours was enough. She went, no. Gosh. Not only that, she's going to make me another one for the warehouse. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I used to love it. I used to do um, like dragons and all sorts. I've done loads of different ones. Um, back in the day before I had children and before I started making cakes yeah. and now I don't have time to do anything other than make <laughs> cakes so for the three colours that we've used for the um, cotton reels I'm just going to do some thin strands one strand of each colour and they're going to come off the cotton reels just make that a bit smaller so again, because I've used the modelling paste, it makes it easier to roll the strands much thinner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the back, which is where the seam is. And we're just going to, whoops, pop that on there. Let's use my Dresden just to flatten it in a little bit. And then obviously that will come around the front as if it's just wrapping around the cotton reel. So we'll do the same for the purple one. 
So again, just find that seam at the back. Press the ends to mold it on. And there's that one. And then let's get the pink pierce back again. I'll rub them with that. 10 hours per day for 10 days. Ooh. It's when she was on, um, when she was at her last company and she was on furlough. Oh, so she right. occupied herself for 10 hours per day for 10 days. Wow. I uh, remember, um, gosh, going back seven. She doesn't have that time now working no. for us. Gee, Karen. No, seven eight, <laughs> seven, eight years ago, I had a real bad case of pleurisy. Um, and I was off work for quite a few weeks and I made. Um, I don't particularly knit. I don't mind knitting. I quite like it. And I've, I have done bits in the past. Like when I was um, expecting the children, I did like little matinee jackets and things. Back in the day when you used to do those, yeah. those kinds. Um, but I'm, I knitted my daughter um, one of these monkish, you know, with the really long arms and the long legs. And that kept me sane while I was yeah. off sick with pleurisy. You just have to I do don't, something, don't you? I don't you? do illness. I don't, yeah, hate it. Yeah. There we go. So there's the cotton... Just coming off the um, little cotton reels, we will, while we're here, we'll stick those pins in. So a little bit of water just into the holes that we made. Let's see if they fit. Fifth God Art's husband does diamond art, and he's made oh, us wow. a sign. He's made us a sign, which is at the Sugar and Crumbs Warehouse. Yeah. Which I don't can't remember how many diamonds is in it. But Viv, what's the next one he's doing? How many diamonds has the next one got? I'd be going cross-eyed if I was doing I this. I would. Right, Especially let's... Especially twinkling. Yeah, definitely. Your eyes in, don't they? My eyes were going today doing the um, dress cake. Do you know, with the painting all those little uh, flowers non-stop. Right, so that's oh. all the little components so, made. So Lee is a clever man then. He, he makes cakes and he sews and he knits as well. Well oh, done. Brilliant. Fabulous. Well done. Hey, right, you can be part of the gang then. Very crafty. Yeah, you're welcome Very on crafty. here. And so I've, my daughter started doing a bit of cross stitch. I bought her one for Christmas. Yeah. I don't think she's actually started it yet. She did do one um, when she was on Fella. Yeah. But it was a very simple I one. Think I once you get into it, though, you can't put it down. Yeah. I found when I used to do it, I used to just listen to the TV rather than actually watch it. Anyhow, who's enjoying tonight's live? So don't forget, tomorrow I will be putting a post up about Julie in tonight's live. So look out for it. And you've got till Thursday night when I'll draw some winners um, for um, the icing sugar bundles. Uh, but you need to put what you actually think of the live and only one comment per person. If there's two comments, you'll get disqualified. Sorry, because I want to make sure it's fair and everybody gets a go. And they're all loving the live. The love hearts really? are going bonkers. Excellent. That's what we love. So we're going to we've got here then. transfer this huge monstrosity <laughs> over. So I'm just popping my palette knife. Monstrosity? Sorry. Well, it's far bigger than what she asked for. <laughs> I really wanted a little six inch round cake. I didn't realise I was getting a monster. <laughs> well, I didn't realise it was going to be that big either. <laughs> There we go. So normally what I would do if I was doing this at home is I would cover the cake drum the day before um, just so it's got time to firm up. But to be honest, that's it's fine. It's gone on without a dint. There we go. I'm going to pop it on a turntable so I might have to go on my tiptoes so that you can see me. <laughs> and we're going to start assembling all the bits and bobs. So let's get those buttons back in. Do you want me to find you a ribbon for it as well? Um, yeah, I've found some oh, did there. I've got, yeah. I might use the gold one, I think. Yeah, I possibly. think I was just going to say gold. Let's nice. go over the gold buttons. Yeah. yeah. So a couple of questions. Yeah. Carmel is asking, how do I make a zip on a cake? Do we have a zip mould? We have a zip mould by Katie Sue. Otherwise, I don't know. Or... The difficulty. You could join Joey Chew's class on a handbag cake and she shows you how to make one without mould. There we go. So I'm just painting all the way around the bottom just with some water. Um, Catherine is asking again about the, is there only one option on the trade? Or does she need to contact Karen tomorrow? No, you don't contact Karen, okay. If you go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, scroll down, there's lots of big boxes there. So it might say, so it starts off with the clearance box and then it carry on down all the boxes and there's a box there and it says trade. 
There you go. So then click in there, it gives you the, e it gives you a, the email address to email to, to say that you want a trade account. You email through to there, give them all your details, tell them about what type of business you've got and everything, and then Laura will get back to you. I can't deal with it here, I'm doing a live, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I don't do the trade anyhow. I wouldn't even know what a trade price is. It's looking pretty juvenile. Yeah, so we're just randomly putting, let me get these gold ones as well so I don't forget about those. We're just randomly sticking the buttons in. And on these big ones. I just need to put a little bit more water behind that. Obviously, because I made these earlier, and especially quite a few of these I made in advance before we started, so the paste is drying a little bit with them, so I might just need to add a little bit extra water to keep them in place. So just quite randomly, um, I tend to put the smaller ones down at the bottom so that they fill in the little gaps just there. And then you can put some of the bigger ones at the top. So the moulds that Julie is using, the buttons mould is the um, Karen Davies buttons mould and the flower moulds and the lettering mould, it's the Stitch range by Katie Sue. So if you go to, if you just write in Stitched in the search, it should bring up Stitch leaves, I think there's a blossom flower, can't remember what the other flower is called, and then there's the little stitch pad and uh, this little stitch just just type stitched and it should come up yeah it brings this there is a few and they're all saying wow and this is really good you know if your uh, bottom of your cake isn't particularly neat this hides a multitude of sins and sylvia anderson has had her gray board out for the first time today it's fantastic oh good. she's been sitting color and paste making decorations and cake. stroking the board. Oh, watch it. And stroking the board. Yes, have you been <laughs> stroking the board? Go on then. Remind us how many of you stand there stroking the board. John doesn't get it. You don't get it either, do you, Simon? Do you get it? Do you have a do you have a sneaky stroke? I would say I would say it's a man thing, but I don't because there's some men on the feed and <laughs> yeah. then not agree. Do you not come over and have a sneaky stroke of the board when you're setting up afterwards? You know when you come to do the pictures afterwards, do you not have like a little stroke of it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was definite, wasn't it? No. <laughs> no, you strange people. <laughs> uh, Carol, it's flat. There's nothing. Carol, nothing have, interesting I, to have, <laughs> have I finished my world puzzle? No, because it's at a stage where John doesn't want any more to go on the wall. So I did say to him this weekend, I want to put the other bits on, but he does say that he thinks it looks tacky with all the other little bits on. So if anybody wants to know, I have a world map on the wall that's made out of wood. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's got like little boats and airplanes and other bits that you can put on. And then it's got flags. He wants me to take the flags out. The flags show the flag for each country. He wants me to take those out as well. And I'm standing firm. I've only just put half of them. So Viv Goddard says her husband, her husband's diamond art. Well, Carol, it's over 150,000. He's already spent a hundred hours doing it and his time and each time he does it, he's got the patience of a saint. Does he regret offering to do it now, Viv? <laughs> <laughs> he said to me he wanted he made me one and it was lovely and he said he wanted to make me another one for the warehouse. Yeah. So I said, We can't I can't let you just go and make it. Let me buy it. Yeah. Just let me buy it and then you put it together. Right. So, um, so that was hard work, forcing him to let me buy it. I've not paid for it yet either. He's he's not charged me yet for it, but um, so that was hard work. And then it's come, and I just feel so guilty. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it will go centre. It will go centre place on the wall. I've got a, I've got a nice big space for it to go on. And then when everybody comes to the demonstrations mornings, they will see it. Oh, Karen Nail has put the spanner in the works. Lee, when are you coming to do a live? See, these girls, they just love having men on the lives. They go wild when Ollie the Chock's in, don't they? Oh, uh, they like it when Ryan's in. Oh, you want to see all the thumbs go up when Simon pops his head in? Oh, I mm. don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling left out. All this excitement for the men coming in. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So in some of the places, obviously, you can go a little bit higher and just vary it a little bit. Don't do it as if it's kind of just 
a couple of rows of buttons going all the way around. So we can just use up. And again, if you've got any areas that you're not quite happy with, I've got a little bit of a dint there, so we'll go a bit higher there. They're all absolutely commenting. They're loving the live, and you are so clever. Oh, thank you. Is it lovely? Is it lovely? These tutors come in and give away so many free things, free tips. I mean, this is their career. This is what they do to make a living. So it's lovely when you see the likes of Julie, Claire, Jerry, all come in and give you free demonstrations, which is absolutely wonderful. I enjoy it. And isn't it lovely of sugar and crumbs to host it for you? <laughs> and Simon to sit on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Definitely. There we go. So as I say, you get the idea. You can just build it up, um, going around as much as you like. So let's just... They can't believe how much you've managed to get through tonight. Oh, there you go, you see, and you make speedy. It look, and you make it look doable, and personally, I think it is doable. It is, definitely. Yeah. So I'm just going to use, you could use um, oil icing if you wanted to, but because these are still quite fresh, we're just going to pop them on. And then you can just arrange them however you want. Um, that's finally, thank you. That's the tomato one. So again, if you wanted to, you could pop some pinholes in there and make some extra pins um, for that. Let's pop this stitching piece here at the front. And again, let's just pop a little bit of water there just to hold that needle in place so it doesn't fall off. And then the cotton reels at the back. Let's have one. Oops. Two. And then a bit of water on the top there. See, I'm on my tiptoes now to reach this. <laughs> there we go. It's looking amazing. And that's stacking that one there. How and then cool all we need that? to do is just quickly pop on the lettering. So well, before you do on. that, then, yeah. so that I can um, just get up another winner. Mm -hmm. So it was only meant to be one winner, but we're going to go for free. So I'm going to do my final draw for a bundle. Ooh, we've had more comments. We only had 96. We're on 126. Do, I do hope none of you have duplicated your comments. So if you've won before, um, unfortunately, I can't give you another prize. I want to pass it on to somebody else so everybody gets a chance. Doesn't it look nice with the little gold buttons? It just there? brings that out, it does, doesn't it? It looks lovely. Yeah. So I'm just going to start yeah, spinning start this. So I am just going to start. So I'm going to go to the top, so that well, I keep going to the top anyhow. Yep. So all comments, we're starting off with Jackie Richards. So let's get down to the last one. So I'm going to keep scrolling. I'm going to keep scrolling until we get to the last one. I did go to the top, so we're on the last one, yep, which is June is. Barrett. So I'm just going to keep spinning. I'll spin about five times, going okay. backwards and forwards, and then you put your finger on it. Okay. Don't worry about what pops up, because okay. I know which one you're on. Okay. Just keep your finger on it. Okay. I'll just keep going, so we're there. I just didn't want to ring any random person yeah. by accident. No, it won't ring anybody. It's free, we've gone to the top again. Four, five. Okay, and there. There. And oh. that's <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Yo, you are actually on. Adele Williamson. Love Laura. She is so nice explaining and showing you. So Adele Williamson. And because I'm in a really good mood for losing seven pounds worth of weight. I am also going to give Gina Lee, because it was nearly in the middle there, wasn't it? Yeah. So that's four prizes. So Gina Lee, Laura's so clever with all the things she makes. She's a clever lady. So um, Adele Williamson, Gina Lee, Karen Naylor, I hope you're taking notes of all these people, because I have no idea who's won. So, <laughs> so um, ladies, if you, ladies, because it's all ladies who's won, um, if you can email info.sugar and a n d crumbs at icloud.com if you can't remember that go to the website go to the contact page there's an email link there click through and say that you are a winner tonight for laura's facebook live okay and we will dispatch out to you a bundle of icing sugars now if you've got an order in please let us know and we can drop it into that order for you but if you haven't got an order in just give us your address and we'll pop it in the post to you tomorrow brilliant so i'm just attaching these letters just with a little bit of water and congratulations that's me Look done there. let's go back to the live now and 
finished we, it all. We never stopped. Hey, no, well, I get back on the live. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got, or I did have some. Can we work. carry on now? Is that alright? Yeah. yeah. We can carry on now. It just means carry, carry on now. It just means you don't have to go around there. I just carried on regardless. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I just kept going. Um, so I just tend to use a non a non toxic glue stick. Yeah. Uh, for my ribbon, you can also use double sided sticky tape. Um, I just struggle to get the end off of the tape. Do you know when you're trying to? Peel off the back in. Yeah. So I like losing. I like using the glue. Yeah. No one's going to chomp on the board anyhow, are they? No. Oh, Gina Lee's watching, which is great. She has an order in, and thank you, she's delighted. Oh, fabulous. So Gina, just make sure you ring the office. And Karen Naylor, do you have all the names? Because can't remember who they are. What are the letter molds again? They're Katie Sue and it's a stitched alphabet. Okay, so it's Katie Sue. It's on our website under brands. Uh, just in case we do run out of stock, do let the office know and I can have them in for you on Wednesday. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! Ta-da! Ta That's really fantastic. Does it look Pretty nice with the gold, board, the gold ribbon as yeah. well? Yeah. It looks really yeah, lovely. It just picks out the gold. Yeah. Put in the, 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 um, put the other one on the white, on the white turn table there. Yeah, put it, yeah, it's a higher turntable, make it look yep. the same size. So we go there. <laughs> and I'll get on my tiptoes at the yeah. back <laughs> so you can see me as well. There as, we go. So. Hasn't she done fantastically well, everybody? Speedy. Speedy. Speedy quick. Obviously, when you're doing it at home, take a little bit more time over it just so yeah. that your modelling's yeah. on point. Absolutely fantastic. Right, so I'm just going to get Julie just while she's here to show you what she made today. Okay. So if you want to join this class, you can still join it. Believe me, do not be scared, okay? It's a fantastic class, and she did this today. So just because it's not a live class now doesn't mean that you can't buy it and watch it. And um, Any of the ladies who are watching day today, they will all tell you how fabulous it was. Look at this beautiful girl here. Yeah, yeah. So this was made fresh today's class. It's going to be donated tomorrow. It's going to be donated to the Seashell Trust, which is an organisation... <laughs> Sorry, which is an organisation for se severely disabled uh, uh, children and young adults. So uh, they're going to come over and collect this off Julie tomorrow. And then mm -hmm. her next class, I'm going to get her to bring it round yet again. Okay, let me make some space. Pop that one okay. there. And you can see, look, it's really sturdy. Yeah. So um, Julie's oh. done several classes. Go on the website and see the classes that she's done. If you've never done a Julie Rogerson class, then you're mad because she go. she does the cakes and she does them in a way that you can grasp and get them done them so easily. So look at these. Yep. So this is the newest class that's going on. This is Noah's Ark, and this is for the seventh of June. Yeah. So lots of you have said you've bought this tonight. There we go. Um, so let me just say, Jacqueline Penfold says, thank you, Julie. Yeah, fabulous live, uh, fabulous demo. And thank you, Carol Simon. Also, well done, Carol, on your weight loss. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Julie. You're They're very all welcome. saying absolutely amazing. Brilliant. They love it. No, I've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And thank you for staying with me. And thank you especially to those ladies that have been with me all day today at the class and have stayed on and watched at the live tonight and they haven't got sick of me so thank you no. for supporting me and coming back to watch me tonight as well absolutely really appreciate it fantastic well done well we're going to say good night everybody mm -hmm. and to, don't forget tomorrow we have tracy man oh don't forget buttercream flowers tomorrow ladies so the ladies are in the buttercream flowers class two o'clock we've got facebook sorted out so we should be able to stream live no problems at all and um, whoever did the angry face do a love heart straight afterwards get rid of it um, so we've got buttercream flowers tomorrow, half past six, Tracy Mann. Uh, Wednesday, we have, um, what's she called? Molly, Molly Robbins. Robbins. Well Molly done. Robbins, yeah. She's bringing in the babies. She's I'm going looking to forward to that. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, yeah? absolutely. I've seen so many of you have got your baby moulds already. We, she brought them in on Friday. She sent her mum up with them and we got them dispatched out on Friday. So it was nice to see that you all were getting them over the weekend. So she'll be in on Wednesday, eight o'clock. Then Thursday, Karen is making um, macarons with whipping it up. I will be here Thursday because I'm going to go and see my baby granddaughter, my ninth one, um, who I've not Aww. seen, who will be six weeks old. Oh, so pleased to go and see her. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So thank you very, very much, good. everyone.
Have yeah. a great night. Thanks a lot. And bye. guys, bye. Bye. bye.